It's the best of Jim Norton, Jim Norton. and Sam Roberts. Sam Roberts. I never cared about Lawrence O'Donnell. He's now my favorite broadcaster. Like, you're not sitting there looking at the Lawrence O'Donnell tape going, oh, why would somebody leak the tape of this guy? That's so, that's kind of fucked up. He seems like a good dude. No, I'm watching this and I'm going, I know they're leaking it to make him seem like a dick. And watching this build, I'm like, he's 100% right. Well, you can't, you can't. You can't treat the people around you like uh, complete subhuman pieces of shit because Never. you're the guy on camera. No, but what you can do is when you're trying to do something and people are talking in your ear, mm -hmm. he's, he, at first he's being like, there's this someone's talking in my ear. In the control room, basically he's trying to do some kind of a, like I, I guess a, you know, uh, I don't know what SOT, SOT means. SOT, I don't know, it's lingo. Yeah, it's, it's some type of thing, but he's trying to do like this read into camera for, for the story. And someone is just talking in his ear. So he's getting annoyed. Like, he's right. He's, he's fucking broadcasting, and somebody is yapping in his ear. Slight. No, it happens a lot. So it means sound on tape. Sound on tape. So it's happening. All, it's, he keeps trying to do it. Just watch, we can't watch the whole eight-minute tape, but watch a minute of it. So this I is, love the build. I do, the build is phenomenal. But he is building. He's not just yelling. This went down on, uh, on August 29th, they said. This is all from one show. And somebody from, from MSNBC just leaked it. Uh, yesterday or yesterday afternoon, and it kind of went everywhere immediately. I, there, there were probably moments on the tape where I thought he might be uh, overdoing it a little bit. I thought that he, he was completely reasonable. He could probably <laughs> calm down a little bit. You okay. know what I mean? There's probably a lot of people there that uh, hate his guts. See how that one goes. And this would be uh, this would this would be evidence as to why. Like if somebody came to me and said, "Yeah, I work for Lawrence O'Donnell." I hate that guy. I wouldn't be like, that's weird. What do you I, hate him for? I, I, I would I say, what it. did you do wrong? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, I get it, To though. upset the great Lawrence O'Donnell. If it's a live show, which I think this was, that's got to be frustrating. I guess. Just read the fucking news and go home. It's an hour. <laughs> just read the fucking thing. It's not like you have to remember it. Just read it off the deal and then go home. It's not like, you know, the news. The, he's frustrated, but at this point, the way the cable news works, you can't afford to be going off on people. Like, just, re they're just okay, Lawrence O'Donnell's kind of a dick when there's people in his ears. Let's just replace him and find somebody who's cool with people in their ears. No, it's, you, it's difficult to talk when somebody's yammering in your ear. It is hard, yeah, especially when, when you, you got to read something. <laughs> 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 like, if I, need to talk to, if I need to say something to Jim, I make sure that the, I wait for him to not be talking because I know that it's going to throw you off. It's, 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 yeah, it's difficult. She was but, talking about Labor Day. Oh, he's 100%. If he would have walked in there, if they would have said Lawrence O'Donnell was reprimanded for pushing a woman's head through glass, <laughs> but what did she do? She was yapping about Labor Day while he was trying to talk. <laughs> Team Lawrence O'Donnell. <laughs> so I, I also think it's okay sometimes for things to be difficult. Like, yeah. you know, you read the news for a living. Like, it's okay if every now and then you have to do something that's not just easy. Let's, let's just watch the build a little bit. Because he's not every immediately. He's not being a, a, a dick immediately. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. Well, today, smile. President Trump visited Texas, but he forgot to bring any empathy with him. But he did bring a hat. A hat that is for sale. Uh, was he joking or serious? Was that part of the real read or no? Yeah, this is live. Yeah, but it was him, like, criticizing Trump. Yeah, no, no, no. What's but going I didn't, on? Why am I losing this? See, I Why didn't know. I, have if, sound? Uh, I didn't know if that was, like, a real. Is, would MSNBC actually have a newscaster say that? Yeah, of course. Yeah, he. I mean, he's the most like one of the most liberal guys on TV. No, 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 I know, but I mean, I, I didn't realize that they, they I, well, I guess they were editorializing. Yeah, they, edit, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, because he sells all of his hats on his website. Right. Yeah, no, no I know. So but he had a new hat. I just love that, like, he's going. This is a story about how Donald Trump is a jerk, and let's go to the tape. Hey, you fucking assholes! Can you not get anything right around here? Well, you know, he's one hundred percent right so far. He wants to, this is a professional man. Right. All right, that's back. Like Someone's a, pressing buttons and turning my sound off. We got scowl. Who is who's asking for a Labor Day okay. rundown Hang on, in my ear? Bars. He's immediately. Oh, okay, I, no hold on. I, I I must amend my sentence. <laughs> he was he is immediately annoyed. He's got it. As soon as he hears a voice in his ear, his bottom jaw just gets clenched. Yeah. Yeah. You have to see the visual. We we'll tweet out the video too. His bottom jaw just completely tightens up, like he's gonna fuck somebody up. And he's going, who is pushing buttons? In my ear. He's right. Go ahead. More about Lawrence. Go ahead, Lawrence. 
It's just glaring. He's cranky. He's fucking tired. Have some coffee, pal. He's fine now. He's all, all right. right. Someone in that control room is out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! Home <laughs> run, Lawrence! <laughs> Chip O'Donnell. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're right. I, he, love, I love how aggressively he handles his papers. Yes, he's not happy. No, he's, he's not happy. He's very upset. Can you, but just think about that. Like, working for a guy like that who you're like, okay, it gets okay when he's live. Like, you're just, you just, you live for the moments when he's actually on the air because you know as soon as he throws to tape, it's somebody's ass. <laughs> you know, like as soon as he throws to tape, he's going to have the clenched jaw. He's going to be scowling. He's going to be looking to kill somebody. And you're like, please just go back live. Please just go back live. I like when he's like <laughs> pretending to be pit <laughs> pretending to be a good guy. Yeah. Like, oh, well, I'm just uh, I'm just looking out for the people because our president isn't. And I think it's a it's a valuable thing for Americans to watch Americans back and Let's look at this, this clip from Donald Trump. We should get that. Guy. Who is doing that right now? He's completely right. I'm still <laughs> team Lawrence O'Donnell. Even after realizing the error of thinking that he took a while to build, I, who's talking in my ear? I'm still team Lawrence O'Donnell. <laughs> we should get that out of control clip for when Anthony fucks up in here. Yeah. There's, oh, my gosh. Some of the control room is out of control. I mean, the control room is out of control. That's right. Should have saved that one for the air. Did you get the play on words? Mm -hmm. Oh, now I get that. <laughs> Good stuff. Control Go on now. Control. 20 seconds. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> He really is getting cranky so fast. Pissed. God damn it. God damn it. God bless him. 10 seconds. Okay. <laughs> get <laughs> There's, here, he just freaks out. Here's why. They're still talking in his ear. They're still talking in his ear. It's almost like a, a blood vessel was going to burst. He puts his hands up, which it's, you know, my favorite part about this whole thing is that that one tiny second is the screen grab that everybody's using for this. Watch Lawrence O'Donnell become a crazy man. And it's the one second where he puts his hands up and it's like he's clawing the air. <laughs> and he can't believe that there's a mystery woman still in his ear. Yep. Get out of my head! He's Get out of my head! He's so right. <laughs> he's just, he gets very, he's very exasperated. Okay, so go back just a, a little bit. Because I like when he goes, no, go back before that. Because I like when he goes like, uh, fuck, and then he goes, God damn it, and then he spazzes out, and then he gets right to the news. <laughs> it's a professional. He is hot under the collar. There. God damn it. <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Someone please make a meme out of that. That's got to be. Or would it be a gif? God damn it, I'm old. We could meme a gift. <laughs> could be either. Oh, so the president went to Texas today and has political reports. Nothing wrong he here. Very professional. President going to Texas today. He's a pro. Hey, let me criticize this president. God damn it, get out of my head. <laughs> They're still talking to me about God knows what. Like, Lawrence, <laughs> relax, you know, relax. Take, take your earpiece out. And just read what's on the blue paper. You know, it, there's, it's also in front of you on the screen. Read the read the screen, and take the earpiece out if you have to. It would be great if there was actually nobody talking to him, and he's just a crazy person. That would he's be better. Just nuts. <laughs> Do, how hard was it for his staff to not be cracking up while he's doing this? They're probably scared of him. I'd be ducking under the table. Even for other I, reasons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me help you, Lawrence. I, I can get a promotion if I do this. I'll right? relax you. <laughs> <laughs> it would be impossible to not laugh at this even if you're scared of him like just looking for a corner to go hide in so you can chuckle you know how many times this tape was passed around before it was leaked? i guarantee it was passed around. yeah guaranteed it's just the best of lawrence o'donnell and you can never it's trace like faces it. of death video yeah just copies of copies of copies and you can't trace it because digitally there's just once someone has it everyone's got it's it it's out there yep oh operator error I could have guessed victim, that. See an inch of rain or get near a flooded street. And born in horrific disaster and tragedy. And into that tragedy today stepped the President of the United States. Oh boy. There's insanity in the control room. <laughs> He's pissed. He's. He said it again. He can't believe this is happening. <laughs> right. He's so mad. He, he did the hands thing. I love too that he's like the rage. Oh, on his, he's shaking. Oh, he's, he is shaking. He's man. so angry. What happened? Is it is it like when a person gets into a position of power? No, it's it's, it's when you can't believe there's such 
utter incompetence. No, it's, it's, it's not the power. It's the but fact that... But there was a time in his life when he would get that angry and people would be like, fuck you and just punch him. You well, know what yeah, I mean? maybe. But I mean, the bottom line is he has like an on-air job to do. Right. And what's happening to him at this moment is so avoidable. And it's somebody who's fucking not doing their job. He pushed the wrong button. And it's like, it's, but, he's, but he addressed it the first time and it was annoyed. And it's continuing to happen. So whoever he's talking to is not fixing the problem in the control room. Like, these people all know there's a problem, and this fucking asshole is still talking about Labor Day. Doesn't this make you appreciative to be on radio where if something, on this show specifically, if something's going wrong, you can, you can, <laughs> you can just address it? It's, it's, it's such a relief to be able to. That's the beauty of stand-up over acting or radio over TV is you can address when things are, the wheels are coming off or you're yeah. frustrated, you can talk about it. And a lot of times you can bring the person in and call them out and get something out of it. You yes. can't do that what he's doing. So he just has to fucking swallow it and plow. If we had to plow through and, you know, and Sam and I were talking and then talk about this shit off the air, this would be horrible. Yeah. Like just, and, and, and it's little things too because they're such perfectionists. Like let's say uh, Anthony, was, Anthony was a second late on that sound bite. For us, no big deal. It happens. It's whatever. Make fun of him. Well, yeah, make fun of him if we have to, or don't even acknowledge it, whatever. Like, it doesn't matter. But if this were, like, cable news... That's right. And it was a second late, I'm just... What are you doing over there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going back on. Okay. And uh, the president tonight was... God damn it, Anthony, you're fucking me up. And it's like... It's like they feel like... They, like they, this rage builds in them. Because O'Reilly was this same rageful guy. Yeah. This rage builds in them where they feel like the entire staff around them is you're just all here to fart you. He's really upset. He has, he, he, first of all, he has thin lips and he is livid. <laughs> livid. He's a he, blockheaded man. He's, a, he's an angry blockhead this evening. He's a blockheaded, thin lipped man. <laughs> If you think the president's language was a little too celebratory about the sudden fame that can happen to people during hurricane coverage, a fame no one should welcome, if you think the president's language missed closer and closer to the president himself. One of the deaths in hey, Houston pause for a second. was ignored. Every time he stops a sentence, like, like just there, you can see it, like in the middle of a sentence where there's a, a, a pause that's a split second too long between two words. I'm assuming there's some lady going, so what are we doing for Labor Day? Are you going to have a, I don't know if I'm going to cook. Do you want to cook? Woo! Because <laughs> you uh. assume they're talking about what the network's doing, but how much better would it be if it was just a girl, a lady, trying to make plans for uh. Labor Day? Is everybody from the station getting together? <laughs> uh. Oh. And then some annoying bitch. He's sitting there going like, yeah, the president was celebratory in Texas. No, we're not inviting Lawrence, are we? Uh. <laughs> I would, I would, re that would really make me happy. Ah! <laughs> what do you mean you're not inviting me? Trump is police sergeant Steve Perez, <laughs> who had been missing since Sunday morning. You have insanity in my earpiece. <laughs> Look at him, Matt. He's <laughs> talking through his clenched teeth. <laughs> don't, don't leave it there. Don't leave it. Just leave it. The guy's trying to earpiece. touch it. It's somebody talking on our lines. He's like, don't try to fix it. You're not going to be able to fix yeah, it. Yeah, the guy tries to touch him. Some fuck. Ten seconds. <laughs> Cursing. I am completely on his side. You always think, like, how do, how do anchors <laughs> get caught saying nasty things on microphones? But then you realize that, like... It's all taping. Lawrence O'Donnell, ten seconds before he goes on live TV, is going, oh, fuck. God damn it. Ahem. <clears throat> So the president, <laughs> yeah, they're, and they're all every, the tape just rolls. Of course it it's does. All digital now, well, they just roll. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think it's on film where they're like, you know, oh, I don't know, it's going to cost us a lot of right. money to keep. No, everything they might they probably just tape the studio twenty four hours <laughs> a day because who cares? Anytime anybody walks in there, yeah, do a show, whatever. Yeah. Uh, four. Three. So pissed. President Trump Ooh. did not mention Sergeant Perez today. And he has not tweeted about people are in shelters across. There Texas is something tonight. great about this clip. Here's where it's like you're realizing that even when like these anchors try to be as sincere as possible, right? He's trying to be sincere and talk about the Sergeant hurricane Perez in Texas. Sergeant Perez, the victim, yeah. Sergeant Perez, yeah, and, and Trump. He doesn't care about any of this stuff. He doesn't care about the hurricane. He doesn't care about Trump. He doesn't care about Sergeant Perez. All he cares about is this goddamn woman in his ears yeah he's, that's what's in his head yeah he's faking the sincerity he is absolutely <laughs> and i hate that because i'm a hurricane guy you're a hurricane guy. would you support hurricanes that was me just being sincere it's good right i see it in your eyes 
Travis is talking to you in your ears right now, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's saying, do you hate him? And I'm going, yes, do you? <laughs> Are you you're talking about Lawrence no. O'Donnell, right? No, not talking about you either. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. We both, just, we both just stared at Anthony at the same time. Go on now. Hit play, boy. <laughs> Houston's mayor, Sylvester Turner, this afternoon. Every time we go to a SOT, there's a woman talking in my ear about something that has nothing to do with what we're doing here. And they're like, fuck you, who cares? <laughs> yeah, we, we know, we heard you. Yeah, we heard you. Why don't you get all pissy about it, Lawrence? Hey, Larry, just do your job. Yeah, read what's on the teleprompter, Lair. Shut up. He feels, really can't take the earpiece out. He feels disrespected. He could James take the earpiece James, out. Yeah, they asked him to take the earpiece out. He's like, leave it in. Leave oh, it oh, in. You know, yeah, he's, he, you know, don't take it out. <laughs> Stop talking on the goddamn thing. He's right. He doesn't want to take his earpiece out because why should he have to not do his job right because some unprofessional fucking asshole doesn't know what they're doing. Just, just if he would, literally would have picked up a fucking uh, a paperweight and smashed someone's teeth in, I'd uh -huh. still be on his side. Just take the path of least resistance on this one. Take the earpiece out and let some chubby guy count you down behind camera and just read what's on the screen. Sure. And then walk, he should walk into that control room and literally begin swinging something. He probably did. I hope so. If you look at his energy, it, that does strike you as the type of energy that would do that. I hope so. Wouldn't it be great if the way Fox News had uh, sex scandals everywhere where like trying to fuck the, the, the correspondents and stuff, that at MSNBC, all the anchors were horribly violent people, that they kept going in and just <laughs> beating their staff unmercifully? Like Rachel Maddow was just kicking the shit out of staffers. I love a good... I love a good Anchor meltdown. It's the best. Because he gets even worse here. Fellows, national correspondent for the Atlantic and former speechwriter for President Jimmy Carter. Also You're mumbling. Ernest, you tell former he's, White he's House done. press secretary for President Obama. He's an MSNBC political. <laughs> Just kind of scowling at the camera. Scowling. Just a mean guy. Thin lips. He's not... People go like, oh, you know, this is my dream come true. I've always wanted to be a news anchor. He is not happy to be a news anchor. <laughs> no, but he's, he's just... This is not, like, you don't have that kind of anger in you ready to just unleash if you're a happy guy. He's not a guy who's like, you know what? This is what I've always wanted to do, and I'm here, and I'm reading the news for a living. He's not happy. He goes to bed unhappy. He's not sure of his job. He's Whatever is stressing him out, he is stressed all the time. He's not a happy guy. He's not living his dream. No. No. <laughs> but I'm still Team Lawrence. I know you, I am. As of right now, you're still Team Lawrence? 100%. All right. Fellows and Josh Ernest, thank you both for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. He doesn't appreciate anything. Coming up, is Donald Trump going to be called to testify to Congress? Michael Iskoff has the latest on that. Let's hear what he's got to say. Stop the hammering. <laughs> Another hammer. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? Where's the hammer? <laughs> Is it on the... Uh, go up on the other floor. Somebody go up there and stop the hammering. Where's the stop hammer? Stop the hammering. <laughs> I don't think he's mad about the hammering. He's trying to do his job. He's I, fucking someone's hammering. He's right. I don't think it's the hammering that's got him upset. He's, been, he's had a bad night. I think there's other things in his life that, that he's taking out on the hammer. I don't think so. I think that when you're on a, you, he has a schedule to keep and someone is hammering someone's, while he's broadcasting. That's not professional. Someone's hammering. He wants him to go upstairs, downstairs, side to side, whatever you have to do to stop the hammering. He's completely justified to not want hammering while he's broadcasting. He's trying to broadcast and there's somebody hammering. There's craziness in the, as I call it, out of control room. And then a guy's hammering right above me. Oh, they're fucking with me tonight. He's completely right to not want some fucking twat yammering about Labor Day and some asshole hammering. What could the guy be hammering? What are you doing in a, in a, in a television studio hammering while the man is broadcasting? They don't know. Maybe they didn't soundproof the studio well. because they were. That's uh, possible. They don't know if he's upstairs, downstairs, side to side. They don't know where this guy is. He, there are probably more polite ways that he could have handled that. No, nope, nope. No. This gonna, is totally right. I'm gonna start yelling at uh, the guys who work here like that. Go ahead. Yeah, that's up to you. I'm fine. <laughs> so if I started just being like, "What the fuck are you doing over there, Anthony?" Just like venomous yeah. yell, you'd be like, "Yeah, good. I get you back. Thanks, man. <laughs> okay, cool, <laughs> cool. All right, get ready for it, Anthony. I'm ready." Fuck I'll go you. down to the goddamn floor myself and <laughs> stop it. Keep the goddamn commercial break going.
<laughs> call fucking Phil Griffin. I don't care who the fuck you have to call. Stop the hammering. <laughs> Hashtag it. Poor intern's got to give him papers. I feel so bad Boy, for this she girl. She ran right off. <laughs> There's a couple times in that video where the girl comes on and has to drop his papers off in front of him, and she is petrified. Even though it's not her fault. No, but she just doesn't want to be around that energy. You think, you think Lawrence O'Donnell would have gone down and just grabbed somebody's hammer and just beat him to death with it? Depending on the size of the person. Yeah. Hopefully it's the same woman yapping in his ear that was hammering so he could just bash her brains in with it and fucking get it all out of the way. Lawrence O'Donnell just comes back on television for his send-off and he's got just blood all over his face like Patrick Bateman in American Psycho. He's like, that's been the news this evening. He's wouldn't holding you, a hammer. Wouldn't you love to have you able to hack into that and like do the talking while he's like trying to like just to fucking talk about something mindless in his ear? I would. Do you? I thought about that. How great that would be. How amazing it would be to just be in his earpiece. To have some terrible conversation. It's not just, taunting him. Just no, no. As if you don't even know it's on. Yeah. Like, oh, did you watch? Uh, you watch Walking Dead last night? It was a rerun. Was that a rerun? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, and he's just losing his mind. <laughs> he talking about meatloaf. Yeah. You once you figure out. That, that bothers him as much as it does. Oh, would I want to take advantage yep. of it? I really would. Yep. What size waist are you? I'm a 31, but you know, it's funny. I was a 32 for quite a while. How'd you get, the, how'd you get that extra number off? Hard work. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Give me the hammer! I would love to see him. I, wanna, I wish I could see what happened after this. Like, I would love to see he where... He must have spazzed the fuck out. You think he smashed things in his office? I, I don't know what the resolution was. Like, did he realize that it was something that was no one's on his floor's fault? Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, like, maybe it wasn't the control. Maybe there was a fucking, maybe it was a signal. Like, once in a while, you pick up a radio signal you're not supposed to pick up. Maybe it had nothing to do with the control, and they couldn't could stop be. it. Here's what's dangerous, though. If he apologized, he didn't mean the apology. He just swallowed all that anger. And guess what? It's all going to come out again. He just swallowed it down. And the next time, oh, is it going to hurt? Stop the hammering! That's like uh, what, what was the what was the tagline for that show? Heroes on N uh, on NBC, find the girl or something like that. Save the girl. Wasn't save it? the girl. Save the girl. Save the world. Save the girl. Stop the hammering! Someone from Oklahoma City is saying that he's one hundred percent right, unless she's quoting was, or, or, or Caleb. I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> Caleb is her name. I think so. Hello. You're listening to Caleb. Hey. Oh, it's Caleb. Okay. K Caleb. C A L E B. Oh, oh, sorry. They spelled it K Lip. K Lip. We thought you were like a rapper. <laughs> that was fake D boy. <laughs> that was fake D boy. Yeah, all right. But no, man, Odell is 100% correct on this one, man. As a former uh, on air talent and television director, I'm getting curious listening to this shit, brother. You were on the air? Did you ever freak out on anybody like this? Oh, I never freaked out on anybody. I always popped my IFB out and turned around and told the floor directors what O'Donnell should be doing right. to tell the lazy-ass producer in there to turn her fucking headset off if she's not talking directly to me. I mean, we've all been there. Like, I, I've told it's my, ongoing. I've told my stories about getting, oh, yeah. getting angry and, like, freaking out on, like, people serving popcorn and stuff. Like, you, 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 sometimes you get angry when you see incompetence and you just lose control. Yeah, we all do it. But especially when you're actually doing your job, it's even worse. Yeah. When you're trying to do your oh, job. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right. Thanks for the call, man. appreciate it. Hey, thanks, bud. Bye. But you do have to, at, at some point, if the people are working for you, you have to at least treat them like human beings. But, it, again, I don't know how long this was going on or this is when it started. But they're not working for him. They're working for the network, and they're not doing their jobs. It's not like they're just, they're just not doing what they're supposed to do. Someone is not stopping people from talking in his ear. And he's right to not want that while he's broadcasting. Like he's just got a job to do, and they're fucking him up. So it sounds like a dick thing to do. He's got that jaw nice and clenched. But it's unnecessary. Like his job is being fucked with unnecessarily just because someone doesn't know what they're doing. And it's like it's such an avoidable problem. He's probably not a great guy to get into a fight with at home. He might be a, a total cunt. I don't know. But I this, would imagine yes. In this particular thing, I, I see him as being correct. You want to hear a little more? He goes yeah. zero to 100 real quick. Oh, no. Someone is saying that I'm, uh, is, is against what I'm saying, so I will take that call in fairness. Yes, John in Jersey. Hello. Yay or nay? John? He hung Aww. up. He was going to say I was a buffoon. If you're going to put people on hold, can we make sure that they stay on hold so that my co-host doesn't sound like a total idiot again? Yeah, Travis. <laughs> God, fuck. Damn it, shit, fuck. Damn Where it. is my mother? 
What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Tra Travis, is, it, is that Travis yelling at the staff, but his own issues spilling out? <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean that. I feel bad. Yeah. That guy just hung up. This is why your mom left. <laughs> what? You gotta relax, dude. It's not true. You gotta, you gotta chill out. It's okay. Empty out the goddamn control room and find out where this is going on. It's either there or there, or out there somewhere. So what, he, what, he's, what he's saying is he wants everybody in the control room that's working for the show, everybody leave and go out on the hunt for the hammer. He well, wants no, he's also, go, also the control room noise. I think if he says everybody get out, then he'll... No, he's saying every... He's still talking about the hammer because he doesn't know if it's coming from below or above or from the sides. So he wants everybody to get out of the control room and find the hammer. Oh, okay. Get out. Get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> You're not going to make it. <laughs> The woman talking in my ear was talking about the Labor Day special repeatedly every time we went to a sot. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean in the conversation? Not in the bush sot, no. 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 Oh, this poor girl. This girl is. He's not yelling at her. Fuck. I'm out of control. Oh, but she got it. Crumpling things up, throwing them out. Violently. He's not happy with certain writing either. But he's already, he's made himself clear. He'll get to that. Fucking out of control shit. One minute. Oh, he's got one minute. I love when people curse. And they get upset and they start cursing. I like that. Harass and intimidate people of color. The new sheriff of Maricopa County who beat Joe Arpaio joins us next. Okay. And we're I good. don't know why I bother to say how to cut the slots when you don't do it. <laughs> I just don't, I don't know why I, I just, so now I have to chase those stupid goddamn entrails that you allowed him to stick out there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. His hair is out of Crazy place. fucking sound coming in my ears. <laughs> fucking stupid hammering. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Lawrence. <laughs> He's having a rough go of it. He's having a rough one, man. He slammed his pen down on the he floor. He looked like Conan O'Brien when he did that. Yeah, because his hair is out of place A teeny now. bit, yeah. Yeah, and he's got that Conan O'Brien bang thing going on. But he's so pissed at everything that's going on. None of it's lost it's on him. It's cumulative, too. It, yeah, it's all happening for him tonight. And he's saying Lawrence entrails. Lawrence O'Donnell and the terrible, horrible, no good, very <laughs> bad day. He goes, do they even have newscasts like this in Australia? It's a children's book. Oh. Yeah, Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Hey. Yeah. He's, uh, the entrails are probably, there's something in there. There's certain things in writing when you're reading them out loud are just harder to say. Right. And for him, I don't know what it, what, it, what it is, but there's something that he doesn't like the way it's written. He's probably said, can you not? And they just keep writing it like that. Right, they're like, fuck you. I don't know what an entrail <laughs> is. I don't know what that means. Somebody probably was like, oh, Lawrence doesn't like this, you know? And they're like, yeah, well, what Lawrence doesn't like, mm. yeah, I'll tell you how much I care about that. Fuck him. Yeah. No. He just looked up entrails. Like, I understand that. Are you trying to be cute? I told you why I wanted those Did fucking you think he words was? Yeah, cut. he's trying to be cheeky, to quote you. Like, here's what entrails are, Jim. It's probably the letter entrail. Like, it's probably the word that ends in N. Do you, you would, I'm going to safely assume that you and I both know that entrails are a thing. Yeah, the smoke thing, yeah. I, I don't know what it means, what he's saying. But, but, but in the context of Lawrence. Yeah. We don't know. Exactly. Yeah, right, yeah right. I don't know what that means. We either. know what they really are. Thank you, Anthony. God damn it! Oof. Can you imagine if Lawrence it had to work with Anthony? Fucking suck! Dumb fucking, fucking smile on his fucking face. It's not even sincere. <laughs> and what's he gonna do to make it better? Bring in another one of those fucking shoebox cakes? Yeah. Mother cooks like a bunch of logs. Thank you, Lyle. I'm glad that you're here, <laughs> Lyle O'Donnell. <laughs> what's all that laughter in my ear? <laughs> I like the idea of Lyle Chipperson being the only staffer that Lawrence O'Donnell's like, thank God for you, Lyle. Like, it's the well, only that's, guy. Imagine how annoyed he'd be if that's what he heard in his ear. Yeah. Fucking Labor Day. What are you, pregnant? There's craziness. There's craziness in my ear. There's brilliant jokes in my ear. <laughs> Yuma. Yuma. <laughs> we can actually Sucks fix. to be out. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, this is one. Go back to uh, a couple of because this is when he's like, mm. This is his, his, his moment where he's like, I'm out here doing what I'm doing, and it fucking sucks. Yeah, go back to like 10 seconds, yeah. yeah. Goddamn entrails that you allowed him to stick out there. Jesus Christ. <laughs>
crazy fucking sound coming in my ear, this fucking stupid hammering. I told you why I wanted those fucking words cut. Yeah. He's livid. It just fucking sucks. It fucking sucks to be out here with this out of control shit. Feels like a man on Any an island. Any fucking thing can come into my ear at any moment. That's what I know. Anybody <laughs> can get into my fucking ear at any time. Like Some woman talking about what we're doing after the show. <laughs> you going out for drinks? <laughs> I mean, he sounds like a lunatic crazy person. People just get in my ears all the time. He's completely right. There's, There's not one thing he's done that's made me think he's wrong. Why don't we start throwing all the shit around? I got it. He's, he's on the air and he's asked about to write something a certain way. And they did it anyway. Yeah, and he's like, what the fuck? I love it. Because now it's just about everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's any, all any complaint that he may have had last week. Now, now it's a good time to bring it up. <laughs> right. Everybody's fucking with me. And there's some lady who's talking about what bar she's going to later. And she's in my ear right now. I don't understand why she's talking to me about what she's doing after the show when I have to do the show. Yeah, he's just, he's just sick of it. He's sick. right. He's, well, he's right. This is why we're in the shape that we're in. God damn it. These fucking things... There's a reason these words have to be cut precisely. Oh. I want to know what that means. I, I'm assuming that it means like words have to be so that he can say them. Yeah, like yeah, you were but saying I, mean, before, I don't want to like, know which words. Like what, what is it that he's, there's a word he's stumbling. You know, tri big A, he can't go ST words. Right. Is there something he's fucking tripping on or just that's hard for him to, to say? Maybe he didn't do his vocal exercises before he started. Yeah. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? I bet you his, his, his words are, ah, cunt hammer ear. <laughs> cunt hammer ear. The rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain. Go fuck yourself. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's only uh, less than a minute left. <laughs> oh, and everyone in the audience who's going to complain about what that guy just said is absolutely right. <clears throat> oh, boy. Oh, it must have been like a pre-tape cut. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, that, that yeah. fucked up the context of it. Oh, possibly. There's our beautiful intern. Thank you. How do you say this guy's last name? Jesus. Fucking... D-bag Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> fucking guests' faces coming up in the middle of a fucking script. I have two degrees, you know. <laughs> when do I get full time? <laughs> oh, Lawrence. Thank you. Yeah, man, 15. All right, it's over. Wow. Poor Lawrence. <laughs> they really threw him under the goddamn bus, huh? They really did. They, they fucked those, up his show. One of those staffers was really like, you know what we should fuck with today? Lawrence O'Donnell. Hey, Mediaite, what do you think of this video? See, this is what's annoying. He, I didn't realize he apologized. He did apologize. MSNBC host Lawrence O'Donnell apologized Wednesday for a curse-filled rant. Call. Why? He didn't release it. O'Donnell was not on the air, but cameras were rolling as he went ballistic during a break, complaining, can't fucking NBC uh, or call fucking, I don't care the fuck, the noise, uh, blah, blah, blah. Who's got, who's got the hammers? The last word host said he was totally at fault and tweeted, a better anchorman and a better person would have had a better reaction to technical difficulties. I am sorry. Uh, you know, how about this? A better staff wouldn't have constantly had that happen when you were repeatedly asking it to stop. What about the guy with the hammer? I hope he was killed. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that they found who that person was and they yeah. fired a nail gun into his temple. And that was it. Yep. You fucked up King Lawrence. Do you ever see Lethal Weapon? <laughs> when they fired that nail gun through the fucking plastic, that's what I hope happened to that guy. Wow. You really love Lawrence O'Donnell. No, I don't care about him. I've never watched his show. I probably don't agree with a lot of his politics. I'm going to start watching his show just he's in case. He's probably a smarmy liberal. He's a very smarmy liberal. Fuck him. I don't care if he's a big dick. But I want to start, uh, I, I want to start watching just in case something slips through. Yeah. Because something good. I mean, he gets pissed. He is really, really pissed. I don't know if it's this, Chris. Uh, what, what, me and Sam are trying to figure out. Sam and I. Um, uh, that's right, Sam and I, correct. <laughs> uh, yes, Chris, in Maryland. What's going on, brother? Hello. Hey, uh, I was thinking the distance away from where Lawrence is at, they have to keep the text a certain size that he can read it 
So if the text in what he's reading, if the sentences aren't chopped correctly, it might cause him to like cause certain pauses in incorrect places. It could screw him up a little bit. Maybe, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if it's, it's right. Possible. Okay. It's possible. Love yeah. the show, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Pal. Yeah, because it seemed like he had a problem with the writing and then also with the way the clips were cut. Yeah, just everything. Just fucking relax, bro. There's no way that everything can be wrong right now. Every, oh. it, 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 you, can't, you can't be mad at the entire show. No, but he's had these issues he's having. The hammering thing? Oh, he's 100% right. This fucking dummy's yammering in his ear. He's 100% right. I'm trying to make plans. If he's asked for something to be cut a certain way because it's easier for him on the air and they're not doing it, he's 100% right. I don't even like finding out that people are making plans for after the show while the show's on when they're not in my ear. Like when I just see them in the booth. It's true. And I, they're just socializing. I'm like, Absolutely. Oh, you guys on vacation? Yeah, you're not supposed to be on the... You should be doing what the audience is doing, fighting boredom. <laughs> that's, 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 that's oh, not sorry. Good philosophy. No, no, no. I mean, I thought they'd be locked in. Is oh, what I was my thinking. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, that was that, that's the wrong thing entirely. Hey, do you think North Korea reacted properly to Trump's threats? What did they do? Uh, they said uh, they said his threats are the sound of a dog barking. <laughs> well, he called them Rocket Man. <clears throat> yeah. So they said the sound of a dog barking. But I'll tell you this: he made them hungry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you this though. When you're walking around and you see a dog barking on the street, you usually walk on the other side of the street. That's a good point. You absolutely do. You get away from the dog that's barking. You don't walk up and slap it. No. No. It is. His threats are the sound of a dog barking because what follows after a dog barking is a dog biting. Hard. Yep. Sometimes. Yeah. They didn't say a poodle barking. If some little yippy dog is barking at me, I'll kick it in the face. I don't care. I'm that type of guy. But if a big dog is barking at me, like a pit bull... No way, dude. I'm out of here. Hey, what, uh, by the way, may, may, maybe, you know, I didn't see this. Uh, oh, she's, of course, people are angry. Their tweet was, Melissa Joan Hart. Yeah. What was her post about? Oh, she wrote, and just like that, our family vacation is canceled. <laughs> That's right. Oh, she can't. Oh, okay. Uh, where, where was she supposed to go? Puerto Rico? Uh, I don't know. I don't know where this One is. One of the great many places Nick that were. Nick Resort, Punta Cana. Punta Cana, I think it's in Mexico. Oh, Punta Cana, uh, Dominican Republic, not Dominican. Oh. And it's better to be bummed about death and destruction here. Oh, okay. I think you should be more concerned with the people who live there instead of your meaningless vacation. I don't know why. I, she... yeah, I, under, I understand people are wrong. But it's like she's just not thinking. Like you're just writing something. So stop tweeting. But I mean like oh, you're just thinking about like, oh, God, this is how it's affecting me. That's kind of how we all look at everything anyway. I don't think you're not. I think that you're just not thinking in that moment. I don't think you're weighing it going, hey, all these people are dying. Uh, fuck them, vacation. You just not think. Yeah, but there are people who look at that and instead of being like, oh, there, there, there are human beings who are like, oh, that sucks that all those people are dying. Oh, and I won't go on my vacation. Yeah, but I, I personally, I think of everything selfishly first. Like you always think of how it's going to affect you. Well, nobody, you haven't tricked anybody into thinking you're a good guy. I'm a great guy. That's not true. Sure I am. No. I make people laugh. I make people think. You don't do that. I you don't yeah, do Anthony, comment. Uh, he makes people laugh and think. You're just mad. Sometimes that you, at the same time. You're just scared that he's going to have a Lawrence O'Donnell reaction to no. you. You see that jaw clenching up already. That's right. <laughs> um, she's already. Right. I mean, she gets herself in, in trouble on Twitter all the time. Oh, she does she? Said, well, she's an idiot. She, uh, uh, <laughs> she, she used to pretend she was a wrestling fan, and she would like live tweet wrestling, and then it was totally exposed that it was just <clears throat> like her cousin or her or her niece or something using her Twitter account because. She wouldn't know anything about she what wanted was going to, on. Oh, she wanted to seem relevant? Yeah, and she wanted to latch on to that audience. You know what I mean? And then people, I do the same thing. What do you do? I'll tweet. People just think I'm not watching. Like, yeah. what do you tweet about? What the, number one Hulkamaniac here. What time is he coming out? Oh, so you'll do that like while wrestling's on TV. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, yeah, waiting for the Hulkster. Monday Night WrestleMania. That's so smart, yeah. Yeah, number one Hulkamania here. <laughs> what time's the Hulkster walking out? <laughs> number one. <laughs> What time? <laughs> just a schedule. Is, like that, a, is that a good wrestling tweet? A time schedule. I wish you would. I wish you would tweet I'll that, do that out. I'll remember. And then just write hashtag raw. Because yeah. it's like, yeah, I'm watching too. Number one Hulkamaniac here. <laughs> no, oh, number one Hulkamania here. Oh, Hulkamania. What time, is the, what time is the Hulkster walking out? <laughs> More best of Jim Norton and Sam Roberts on the way. Best of Jim Norton and Sam Roberts right now. Last night, I'm watching this video. And apparently, it's from over the weekend in San Diego. Local news covered uh, some kind of 
it wasn't a festival, some kind of parade that involved a bouncy castle. And they sent out their reporter to go talk to the people. And I wanted you to watch the news report from San Diego. Okay. Now, my first instinct is that there's a lot to unpack with it. And since you haven't seen it, maybe we'll just let it play through. If you really need to stop it, we can sure. stop it. But maybe we can let it play through. Okay. And then go back and start to unpack it a little bit. And Rich, I'm glad you're here too to enjoy. I'm, I love you in that sheet. Thank you very, very much. But he's pointing at his face. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. This is from uh, San Diego. You know, usually when you're talking about the world of inflation, you guys, you probably notice, is that a good thing or, or not a good thing? Inflation. I'm sorry, the question again, Dave? <laughs> Is, is inflation in our world a good thing or not a good thing? It depends upon what the topic Generally. is. What are we talking about? Generally, inflation, if you yeah. have an inflatable boat, yeah, that's you a see, good if you thing. heard the word, you, right? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, generally, when you hear the word inflation. Uh, not economic. Something good come to mind? For yeah. me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you that you're right about, if you say good, oh. you're right, because this is the world of inflatables. <laughs> Give yourselves uh. a nice round of applause, everybody. These are just the volunteers coming out here today. Oh. Um, and Addie, are you gonna, uh, what kind of fun do you think you're going to have today? Um, <laughs> now I want to get kicked out of the lots country. Lots of fun. Um, lots of fun. That's a, that's a good kind. Um, helping just... Helping everybody? <laughs> yeah. I didn't hear the question. I'm sorry. What kind of fun do you think <laughs> you can find here? <laughs> All kinds? All yeah. kinds of fun? <laughs> Bouncing fun? Yeah, I think so, because this is a place where kids and families can come and kind of bounce around. But you need something, and I'm going to have everyone do it like a magic chant. Oh. Uh, oh. All right, you guys ready? Because when we're talking inflatables... You need something that's been inflated. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, repeat after me. Abracadabra, one, two, three. Abracadabra, one, two, three. Look. Now it's time to see <laughs> what we see. Now it's time to see nope. what we see. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> How's everybody doing? My name is Mr. Wacky. Welcome to the Inflatable Run. <laughs> Give Mr. Wacky a nice round of applause, everybody. Uh, Mr. Wacky, this is, uh, this is an honor, first of all. Well, thank you. Uh, we are local San Diegans, so we're proud to be here, everybody, on this wonderful, beautiful mm. Saturday morning. Welcome, San Diego! Yeah, good morning, you guys. This is so much fun here. First of all, it's like a 5K, but not really. It's it's longer than a 5K, right? Well, yes. Each participant has the option to do a one-mile lap as many times as they want. We're out here trying to get families off the couch. We're a family-owned business throwing events for families in San Diego. <laughs> so we're really excited to be here. We have all kinds of attractions oh behind God. us and a course that families can run as many times as they want with inflatables on them. Yeah, this is great, you guys. Now, does that mean that everybody here becomes an inflatable today? Do they want to be inflatables today? Do you guys want to be inflatable? Yeah, oh. yeah absolutely. Mr. Wacky, let me see everybody do their Mr. Wacky then. All right. <laughs> oh. oh, God, look at him. Oh. 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 Even the big Wacky's doing the Mr. Wacky right now. Uh, oh. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> Mr. Wacky, it looks it looks like a, a butt plug or a fucking uh, a, a, a skin tag. I think Mr. Wacky is intended to be yeah. one of those guys that they put out outside the car dealerships yeah. with the uh -huh. arms. But you're right, it is does look a little bit more like a butt plug. Mr. Wacky's awful. I can't believe that guy's not doing network news. He's so good and smooth. He's, he's, he's got to be miserable. He's got to go home at night and go. The, best, the first one was his, his fucking big reveal bombed. Oh, my God. <laughs> so are, is inflation good? No. Well, here it is. Well, it depends. If we have an inflatable boat, the guy just <laughs> completely ruined his joke. The, the news anchor gives him nothing, destroys his whole setup. All the people out there give him nothing. Mr. Wacky comes out too early and then gives him nothing. It's just, it's as disastrous as any news piece I've ever that was, seen. That's probably the worst one I've ever seen. 
You think so? Yeah. You want to start and, and start to... For a second, yeah. Okay, all right. Let's go back to the beginning. When you're talking about... Are you glad that I didn't... The world yeah. of inflation, you guys, you probably notice. Is that a good thing? And you thing can see something inflated behind them. Yeah, you the can, camera's not even helping. No, he's right in front of an inflatable. You, all you had to do was angle it slightly to the right, and it would have just been like a stadium behind him. But either he's been demoted, right. or that's as far as he's gotten in his career. So, he, you know what I mean? And he's a man of a certain age. I know. Like, he's yeah, not he's a young no, guy. He's not he's a young 62 guy. 62, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Because yeah, he, obviously, the only reason he's in this game is to sit at the anchor desk, right? It's not going to happen. It isn't. It's like, <laughs> that's when you see. realize he, that's not going to happen. Is John, you. is John, go back up. Is John the guy that throws him under right there? John Austell. John Austell. Oh, see, he right then should have thrown his mic down and said, I can't do this anymore. I'm, I quit. <laughs> I quit. Yeah, John Austell is like a, he's a much younger guy. He looks like an alpha male. And he's the one. I was having a debate with Travis before the show. Travis thinks that the anchor didn't quite know what he was going for. I believe that the anchor sabotaged him. I don't know, to be honest with you. I may, I'll let me watch it again. Because I got what he was doing, and when the anchor was like, well, we're not talking about economically, so I would say yes. It was this just guy, like... As, as the, the piece goes on, he seems like the kind of guy who wants to be different. You know? Like he wants to be the wacky reporter? Yeah, like when he did the, his magic trick thing. The magic trick oh, thing everyone is said awesome. Abracadabra. So, so that's why I think... The anchors had no idea what he was going to do. I, I think he was just being stupid. The bond is kind of a hot mom, though. The one that walked into the... Uh, okay. She's not bad looking. Look at the Which bond? Oh, you'll see her. Oh, she walks okay. in with a kid. Oh, okay. Trying to convince yourself you're not gay. <laughs> <laughs> About the world of inflation, you guys, you probably notice, is that a good thing or, or not a good thing? Inflation. Okay, Jim, you're a comedian, professional comic. What is <laughs> that's debatable? What is he going for? He's going for someone going, um, no, it's not a good thing. And he can go, well, here it is. That's it. But he has to pause for 30 seconds and gets nothing. <laughs> and because when they throw to this jackass out on the field, the news anchors just don't pay him any mind whatsoever. No, they don't want to participate. Hey, they're talking to he's talking to you. So what? Oh. What'd you say? Yeah, I guess it's a good thing. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah, no, it is. The other guy is so annoyed that he's been roped into this. <laughs> or he's just happy to watch this guy sink. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> A tear coming down I'm face. sorry, the question again, Dave? <laughs> is, is inflation in our world... A good thing or not a good thing? It depends upon what the topic Generally. is. What are we talking about? Generally, inflation. If you yeah. have an inflatable boat, yeah, that's you, a good if thing. you heard the wind, <laughs> you, right? He might as well. Okay, that, generally, when you hear the he word, he might inflation. as well have been saying. Here, pause for a sec. He might as well have been saying. Well, since you're doing a report about inflatables, I would yeah. say yes, it's a good thing. Why do you say, look, you fucking idiot, I'm talking about inflatables. Well, he knows he's doing inflatables, and he's like, he knows he's going for something. Right. But he's still kind of a, he still kind of douches him. Right, like why, what else would he mean? Why would he start that way if he wasn't talking about economically? He clearly was. Yeah. Not economically. Something good come to mind? For yeah. me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Did let you me hear tell saying, you that. Yeah, that was him. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh shit! He realizes what a mistake he made by going to the anchor. Right, I, I, I shouldn't have had I any faith. Up. He's not my partner. He's not my partner. He's, not, he's inside. I'm out here talking to fucking nine people. We don't play for the same team, <laughs> Mr. Wacky. I mean, yeah, and I, well, that's what he's thinking. Okay, the setup didn't work, but at least I still got, I got the Mr. Wacky reveal. Who the still fuck coming. named Mr. Wacky? Oh my god! <laughs> what fucking asshole who works for that inflatable company said Mr. Wacky's a good name. Unless it was the reporter himself going like, "Yeah, but you need a name if you're going to jump out. I know you have a mascot. Um, you need a name. How about Mr. Wacky?" I hope not. I really hope, I not, hope not. That's too. not the case. That you're right about. If you say good, you're right because this is the <laughs> world of inflatables. Uh, Give yourselves a nice round of applause, everybody. These are just the volunteers. Oh my God! Look at the girl today. in the beige shirt with the coffee. Um, look at how not enthused she fingers. is. Yeah, look at how not enthused. She's clapping her fingers against her fingers, like tapping them. She could not be less happy. Yeah, she doesn't want to drop her coffee cup. And these are the workers. They're volunteers. They're not even making money. He's going. Are you going to have a good time? Like, no, like they're I don't fucking. Know. Like, why do I have a good time working? I'm not going to have a good time. Yeah, there's a bunch of little kids running around, and I got a fucking 
Right, I don't get to yeah. do any of this stuff. Yeah, I'm working on it. I had yeah. to blow this shit up. Mr. Yeah. Wacky is a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Out here today. Um, and Addie, you're gonna, uh, what kind of fun do you think you're going to have today? Um... Lots of fun. Um, Lots of fun. Yeah, but that's, that's a terrible that's a question. What kind of fun? What kind of? Fun? You could say how much fun do you think you're going to have today? A lot that's of fun. What kind? What kind of fun do you think? A lot of fun. This is a terrible question. <laughs> what kind of? What kind of fun do you think? And you're right. These two don't want to be on camera because they truly are worried about fucking yes. I, uh, INS. Yes. Good kind. <laughs> um, helping just. Helping everybody. Yeah, Helping just. Look at Queen Latifah here. Uh, I didn't hear the question. I'm sorry. What kind of fun <laughs> do you think you can find here today? Fun. White man floundering. All kinds. Do you All see? Kinds of fun. Do you see her just like looking at him and shaking her head like that's a stupid question. <laughs> I love that too. That he's like, okay, they weren't made. They weren't paying attention to me at the news anchor's desk. Let me go out to my people here. These are the people I'm connected with. And the girl on live television just looks at him and goes. I didn't really, I wasn't. I what kind hear. of fawn? He calls it fawn. Fawn. Watch it again when he asked the, the black girl. She goes, I didn't, I didn't hear the question. She's no, very disinterested. Just helping everybody. Celine, what do you think? I didn't hear the question. I'm sorry. What kind of fawn do you think fawn. you can find here? <laughs> Stupid all kinds, question. All kinds of fun. Oh, all, kinds of, fun? all kinds yeah. of fun. She's just looking at him like. Why did you, you ask me that? Fucking you you just, dumb Ofe, get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, because this is a place where kids and families can come and kind of bounce around. But you need something, and I'm going to have everyone do it like a magic uh, chant. A magic uh, chant. All right, you guys ready? Who comes from that girl who was just looking at him going like, that's a stupid question, and goes like, okay, let me try to get them. After that interaction with the audience, he goes like, all right, let me get him involved in a magic chant. Oh, right what? now his wife is fucking a neighbor. <laughs> just out of wrong. <laughs> just out of spite. <laughs> What'd you say? I got it. I got it. Yep. I didn't hear it. Because when we're talking <laughs> inflatables, you need something that's been inflated. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. Black uh, girl's cute, yeah. Repeat Don't after me. Mom. Abracadabra, one, two, three. Look at the black guy. He's so annoyed. Abracadabra. Oh. oh, the guy in the jacket right here with the zippers? Now it's time oh, to you see, see it in pause. It's my favorite part. <laughs> it is. It's the best. I have so many favorite parts, but that might be mine. Is that that he, is that he jumps the gun? <laughs> <laughs> and then he realizes it a few seconds later. Well, Mr. Wacky yeah. jumps the gun? Yeah, just watch. Mr. Wacky jumps up. <laughs> and then if you keep watching... <laughs> <laughs> behind him he goes abracadabra one two three mr wacky jumps up and then if you keep watching behind him as he as he keeps going with his magical chant mr wacky kind of starts to duck back down again. Well, by the way it's not necessarily mr wacky's fault because the pause that he takes trying to think of a new line because you can tell that he's thinking on his feet mr wacky could just think that he's done abracadabra one two three is enough yeah it's plenty mr wacky <laughs> couldn't wait to get on camera so so he so panicked. far so far, the news anchors have betrayed him. This news, this this reporter, the news anchors betrayed him, and then those people the, betrayed the him. The volunteers betrayed him, and now Mr. Wacky has betrayed him. Too. <laughs> everyone <laughs> betray me. <laughs> yeah. Why does everyone betray me? Repeat after me. Abracadabra. One, two, oh. three. Abracadabra. One, two, three. Now it's there time he is. to oh. see what we see. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, now he's back <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, my oh goodness. there he is. But now it's time to see what we see. Like, awful. He just thought of it. You could see because he put his hand on his lip. He's like, oh, where Abra do we go next? Abra. This guy really sucks. And as he's going, now it's time to see, Mr. Wacky just kind of ducks back down behind the inflatable castle again. Do you think he told Mr. Wacky ahead of time, hey, look, we're going to do a chant? No. I bet he said we're going to do a magical chant. Well, I'm I, think, I think he was like, just follow my lead. I got this. Yep. Here's what he said. I think Travis is right. He Here's, said, well, you'll know when to come up. I'll introduce you. He said, I'll bet he said, I'm going to do some magic words. Because there's a reason why Mr. Wacky was ducking. So he probably said, I'm going to do some magic words. And I'm going to introduce you. And then on the spot, decided, no, no, no. Magic words aren't enough. I need to get the audience involved. Let's do a magic chant. Mr. Wacky's ducking because he's humiliated <laughs> more by this guy's lack of... Lack of ability than he is being Mr. Wacky. Mr. Wacky is throwing up inside of his wacky yeah. outfit right now, watching this guy do his job. I despise Mr. Wacky. <laughs>
Here we go. Uh, repeat after me. Abracadabra, oh. one, two, three. Abracadabra, one, two, three. Now it's time there he is. to see oh. what we see. Oh, you stupid fucking <laughs> cunt. Oh my goodness. Hello, everybody. How's it's everybody the hackiest doing? thing Mr. Wacky could say. It's the worst. Hello, everybody. The worst. And he's waving his arms around. To then, zero fanfare. Then he's, he stops waving his arms around because he has to grip onto the castle because it's an inflatable castle and he's going to fall over if he keeps waving his arms around. Well, they all around. know him. They probably watched him. Yeah. Oh, that's Larry. Yeah. Yeah, they watched him get in the suit. Yeah, yeah, that's he Mr. Wacky. said, oh my goodness, like it was a, you know, an earthquake or something happening. It's oh Mr. my goodness. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Oh I can't God. believe it's Mr. Wacky. Mr. Hacky. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Mr. Wacky. Go back a little. I just want to see him pop up again. <laughs> you do. You like it when he pops up uh, and yeah, then he pops and, back and, down. And I like it. He goes, oh, everybody. Like the big moments arrived. How fucking oh, humiliating. Uh, this is uh, humiliating. For everybody involved. For everyone involved. Repeat after me. Abracadabra, oh. one, two, three. Wait, wait, wait. Hit pause. That guy is completely rolling his eyes up in the back of his head. Which when, guy? The guy in the glasses yeah. with the zipper jacket. Oh, he hates it. When he goes abracadabra, for, he's my favorite person in the video for later on, which I'll point out. Looks like Dave Chappelle. He, yeah. But when he goes abracadabra, one, two, three, if you just rewind like three seconds, you can see him roll his eyes in the back of the head while he's, while he's doing it. But why wouldn't they wait till real people got there? Why are they doing it with the volunteers? Because he's stupid. They had to know yeah. this, this whole thing was a colossal mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're back in the newsroom going, oh, oh this, is, this, is this is uncomfortable. Is, this is a horrible mistake. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, repeat after me. Abracadabra. There it is. One <laughs> you see his eyes in yeah. the back of his head? He's like, what the fuck? What are we doing? He does repeat it, though. Let's see if he repeats it. He does. Oh, uh, repeat after me. Abracadabra. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> He is repeating now it. Now it's time to see <laughs> what we see. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. How's everybody doing? My name is Mr. Wacky. Welcome to the Inflatable Run. Give me Mr. Wacky a nice round of applause. Everybody. His lips don't move, though. Mr. Wacky's voice sounds Mr. like he's been hotboxing inside yeah. of his Mr. Wacky Mr. outfit. I, I hope Mr. Wacky has cancer. <laughs> you do. You're not a Mr. Wacky fan. No, I'm not. Hope he has a lump on his pancreas. <laughs> doesn't that guy, the, uh, the newscast, doesn't he remind you of every morning TV show you do on the yeah. road? It's terrible. It's the worst. Do they all try to come up with fun stuff because you're well, a comedian? because you walk into the place on the road when you're doing TV, and yeah. there's, you know, a lady, a black guy, and a, a gay guy, or whatever, and it's so... But when you get there... <laughs> 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 <There's two. laughs> He's so quick. <laughs> Unbelievable how fucking quick you are. Let's oh. see. Uh, let's see Mr. Wacky's comments. Uh, this is an honor, first of all. Well, thank you. Uh, we are local San Diegans, so we're proud to be here, everybody, on San this Diegans. wonderful, beautiful Saturday morning. Welcome, San Diego! Yeah, good morning, you guys. Woo! How great is it, by the way, that this took place in San Diego, the home of, like, Ron Burgundy, and the stereotypical bad right. news that this is the town that this had to happen in? Tory Pines. You think this is a big market, though? Isn't San Diego like a huge yeah. market? Yeah, it's not. I don't know if it's huge, but it's big. It's I mean, big. It's, it's not like top it's the ten, of, but like you know, middle America, like Wisconsin, or right? Something. Two hours from LA. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the type of market where people would graduate to, right? Yeah, maybe. Probably smaller than San Francisco and LA. That's my guess. I would think so, but probably the third in California. It's a big state. Might be. Yeah. Uh... This is so much fun here. First of all, it's like a 5K, but not really. It's, it's longer than a 5K, right? Well, yes. Each participant has the option to do a one-mile lap as many times as they want. We're out here How trying to get a 5K? families off. But this room is a 5K if you do 4,000 laps. <laughs> well, a 5K is like what? Like three and a half miles or so? I, I, don't know. I have to call Bonnie. It's mental. <clears throat> I don't know, actually. It's about three miles, a 5K. So when Mr. Wacky said, you're right, this is longer than a 5K, he's wrong. It's shorter than a 5K because people can just do one mile. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so when he goes, yes, it is. 
No, it is not. <laughs> Off the couch, we're a family-owned business throwing events for families in San Diego. So we're really excited to be here. We have all kinds of attractions behind us and a course that families can run. All you times see is they... one inflatable lump of shit behind. Oh. There's nothing attractive about it. They're not showing any of the, the, the events, the no. ride, the things you can do. They are literally just showing Mr. Wacky and a bunch of inflatable things. You can't even make out what it is. It doesn't look fun. Plus, they say... It's inflatable world. You can run around the track. Yes, and it's what track? Like, what are you talking about? What does that have to do with inflatable? And those things are the closest things to a couch. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you they make off your couch. they make couches out of them. <laughs> yes, inflatable you get off your couches couch and come to a bouncy castle. Yeah, yes. there's a one mile inflatable thing. No, he no, said he's, he's got, got a, a whole track around the whole. But I don't know what that has to do with inflatables. And you could run and pass the inflatable things? <laughs> what does this mean? I don't know. And kids aren't supposed to run. What a lack of clarity this, she says. Right. Well, he said it's longer than a 5K. It's shorter. But what is? What, are they, what the fuck is, the, is What are they promoting? It says you could run around. You run around what? There's an inflatable <laughs> shit? <laughs> Mr. Wacky? And how? what is 5K? F a 5K is like a three-mile three, three 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 change. Mile yeah, run. So they're saying you can run as many one-mile laps as you want. And here's all these inflatable things to tell you about it. That you can run around. They're what the fuck do the inflatable things have to do with anything? I guess they're in the middle of the lap? Yeah, that's what I guess. Oh, okay. But why? So your fucking dumb family Maybe. can bounce around while you're running? Maybe if you, like, run up and down all the inflatable things and around the whole course. Right. That's a mile? Uh, maybe a mile or just, you know... Your parents want to spend money for you to have a good time on a Saturday. So I they see. Bring you, they bring you here. Bring is there any there. footage? Can we look online of footage from that place? Uh, is there? Is there like? Is there any other? Yeah, the inflatablerun.com. Oh, inflatable run. Yeah, but they say uh, it features a one mile slash five k course, but a five k is three miles, so I don't know what the fuck they're talking. What are they about. talking about? I don't know. Maybe it's a one mile uh, up to three k. I, I don't know. I'm trying to define. You know what? I don't know. A five k is yeah. Right. It's, a, it's a set amount. And this seems like you're just running in circles. You get laps, right? Yeah. Like this is like gym class, but except inflatables are in the middle of the track. Oh, great. There it is. The inflatable run. Oh, tickets go on sale soon. Ooh. Are you looking for the greatest family event near San Diego that offers nonstop entertainment for the whole family? Then let us introduce you to the inflatable run and festival. A fun family event featuring a kid-friendly one mile. Yay! Kid friendly. One mile. I'm Mr. Wacky. Yeah, that would be a problem. Come on, everybody. Well, San Diegans, get in here. I don't know. Those arms, they tend to go a little wild. They flip and flop all around. Yeah, good for hugging and tickling. Uh, I don't want to get tickled by Mr. Wacky. Yeah, come on over here. Yay. Mr. Give Mr. Wacky a little kiss on this magic button. It's a one mile slash 5K Yay. inflatable obstacle course. Oh, there you go. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see the No, video. it doesn't. An inflatable obstacle course, yeah. A one mile sure. 5K inflatable obstacle course? You probably course? run and then go through an obstacle. It's like the Marine Corps thing. Well, What's you'll, that 5K? You'll run. Um, maybe they're saying it's a one mile for 5K. You're supposed to do it a few times. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what they're thinking. Is. And then it's, hang on, hit, click out of that. Um, free family activities, live entertainment. Thrilling inflatable attractions, delicious food truck vendors, and many more fun surprises. What's fun surprises? Well, if you do a magic chant, Mr. Wacky will come out at an inappropriate <laughs> yeah. time. Finger banging. Yeah. <laughs> with, with the fun surprises, Mr. Wacky has a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> the fun surprises, a local meteorologist comes and ruins everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Let's see the inflatable. I want to see the official come video. On, come on. Oh. All to the inflatable run. Inflatable fair with a 5k runner walk that is perfect for all ages and fitness levels. The course features fun inflatable obstacles and slides along the way to the finish line. That's not all. Our inflatable festival area features fun interactive activities, inflatable attractions, games, food, music. It's no real footage though. No, it's a cartoon. Will love it. Yay! The from the runner donated to charity. Find your city and sign up today. Oh, okay. That was in San Diego. I want to go to the San Diego and run. Well, that's what that is. That's like fun. When can we go? Well, I'm not. I'm not gonna go. Why? I'm. I've got enough out of the news clip. I don't need to go on this. This was actually a month ago. It's just going viral now. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. 
Here, here's some of the attractions. He, he probably thought he got out of it. It's just a bunch of shitty inflatable stuff at any carnival. Let's wow, the inflatable Zorb balls, delicious food. Come on, this is fun. That's going to be show, one in New York. Whole that's, show will go crazy. That's every local carnival you've ever been to. Face painting. There's nothing special yeah, about this. Yeah, a little this. water sponge battle. Meet and oh, greet. meet and greet with Mr. Wacky. Sure, you get to come in a trailer that Mr. Wacky tickle you till your feet go straight. <laughs> yeah, watching me just looking at each other like, what? Jim's having a good time. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm truly mentally ill. Let's go back to uh, our news reporter. Because oh. we're not done with the, with the Mr. Wacky interview. They want with inflatables on them. Yeah, this is great, you guys. Now, does that mean that everybody here becomes an inflatable today? Do they want to be inflatable What a today? shit improv. That's a terrible doesn't question. Doesn't mean that. No, of no, course not. No, it doesn't. Not. Be become an inflatable? Wait, did they die? I mean, I don't understand what yeah, that I don't means. Get it at all. No. no, it doesn't mean anything. He's just opening his mouth and fucking shit is flying. Words, out of words, it. words, words. Yeah, and then he, and then that's the but the comeback that Mr. Wacky has. Do they want to be an inflatable? <laughs> like, it's, what does that mean? It's not good improv from <laughs> either one of these gentlemen. Mr. You Wacky guys, and this news reporter probably get along well, though. The two of them probably orchestrated this entire they got thing. Got together the night before. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is gonna be great. They worked it out of his house. <laughs> <laughs> One bedroom apartment because his wife left him. Hey, she did. She did. He was really trying to make a run at this news reporter thing. <laughs> I can't stick by you. No, me. this isn't working out, man. You got to figure out something else. <laughs> Sell cars. Yeah, here's the problem. You're no good and all your coworkers mock you. <laughs> It's not fair to I'm me. Embarrassed. I can't go to the grocery store. I can't go out in public. Yeah. You're an embarrassment to the family. People come up to me after you're on television and they go, I saw your husband on TV. And I go, oh, really? And they go, yeah, what was he doing? What was he? <laughs> yeah. What was he? Was Mr. Wacky? What was that? Why did you stay with him? <laughs> he looks like a real asshole. Yeah, exactly right. No, they probably say nice things. People always say nice things, but she knows he stinks. She does. They'll go like, we saw, uh, whatever, what's his name? Mr. I Wacky? I can't find his The name. guy, Jeff, whatever. We, Jeff. Saw, we saw Jeff on TV and the wife. They all know what they're saying. Oh. The reporter's name? Yeah. Dave Scott. Okay, they're all saying that. We saw Dave, so we saw Dave's segment. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, the Mr. Wacky went, oh, I heard about it. <laughs> and the wife knows it was awful. She knows. Yeah. She knows. Let's, uh, Let's finish up the Mr. Wacky. Yeah. Because I want to see Mr. Wacky's uh, response to the inflatables. Question. Do you want to be inflatable? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. Mr. Wacky? Let me see everybody do their Mr. Wacky then. All right. Uh, I love the to... guy. Look at him. He's like texting. He's just like ah. looking down at the <laughs> ground. He's picked me up. <laughs> look at the girls yeah. texting too. The girl, the black, the black guy and the black uh, girl are texting. They're probably talking to each other. Yeah. I hate this motherfucker. <laughs> White people suck. <laughs> and then look. Like, Even the big Levesque is doing the Mr. Wacky right next now. Next to him, they're not uh, yeah. doing it. No, no. A lot of people in this crowd. There's only like 15 people behind him, and I'd say a good half of them are not doing they're, the they're dance. They're not at all. No, no. They're, they're actually they're all they're Stephen Hawking it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I think that's community service for some of them. I, it's got to be. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's got to be. That was a bad segment. Terrible. John in San Diego says he has some insight. What's up, John? Morning, guys. Hey. So. So I turned on the radio this morning and lived the nightmare. I heard Dave Scott's voice. He's been on the air for 20 years in San Diego. Every Saturday morning, we get the same exact thing, whether oh. it's a fair or a charity event or something. He's the weekend He's the guy. the weather guy. I kind of love him, though. He, I, I love him after this. So, so a few more clarities. It's not his wife at the, at the grocery store they come up to. It's his husband. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, it, He's a Norton? Give you a little bit more insight. His, his specialty is, um, he always talks about it. He's in a professional barbershop quartet. That's his, that's his passion. So I can't believe he didn't bring it up in that segment. I'm surprised, too, so. because he obviously he, he has a real knack for a, a live uh, interactions with people. Yeah. He's also a jazz musician. Yeah. Is he really? Oh. Yep. 
I now, think you spelled that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> John. <laughs> you fucking you didn't, you didn't have to whisper it into the, the microphone. I, got, I didn't hear the other one, but I got that. John, do his segments always bomb this badly? Uh, this this is standard. Yeah, every, this is standard? every Saturday morning. If you're real, this is standard. If you're bored, just turn to Saturday morning. It's on like the CW. It's one of the off channels. Did and they... if you if you want to be entertained, it just it's cringe worthy every time. We watch a little he, more. Dave Scott? was he was he ever an anchor or was he always out on the field? Always the weather guy. During the week, he's the weather guy. On Saturday mornings, he goes out in the field. Now, as somebody that uh, is familiar with all the players involved, do you think that the news anchor was sabotaging him by not going with his bit, or did the news anchor just not know what the fuck he was doing? No, the news anchors on that channel don't last very long. It's kind of their, it's kind of the training grounds, and they know they just have to put up with it. They just kind of roll their eyes and go on to the next. So, story. So the news anchors, they stay there for a little while, then they graduate on to bigger and better things, and old Dave Scott just yeah. keeps going to the carnival. They do a podcast two days a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dave, Dave Scott is the carnival. Wow. All right, thank you very much, buddy. Yeah, yeah, let's take it. Now, Dave Scott, Mother's Day. Let's just see Dave Scott's mother, my Dave Scott Mother's okay. Day. Lines. We got some surf. Mm. How about that? Nice. Okay, in honor of Mother's Day, Dave Scott is out in La Jolla saying thanks to moms, hoping they're enjoying the day. Oh, it's at the children's pool. Oh, oh my God. Yes. Good morning, Dave. All right, you guys, here's the thing. <laughs> I know that we're on Mom Watch Starts without today. The mic. And, and, uh, and Mother's Day is very. Day. What did you say? I'm on Mom Watch every day. <laughs> Travis just looks out the window looking like uh, Five-O from Five-O going west. <laughs> nope, not today. No, Mom watches whenever he sees a car driving away. He stole my line. Because she left. No, no, no. That's what we were all talking about. Here's the thing. He stole my line right from the beginning. <laughs> let, me, let me treat myself. <laughs> treat myself to a little crash. <laughs> I, and I've worked in TV news. Troy, go! I've worked in TV news before, and, you know, when they're getting ready to go to you, you look in the camera just in case they switch to you quick. Yeah. You don't talk to the guys off screen like, what, what are they doing in No, there? he's like in another... another no, camp. he's talking. He's like, do I still look like John Larroquette? They're like, yeah, go. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. What were you saying, Rich? Nothing. Oh, okay. Hoya, saying thanks to moms, hoping they're enjoying the day. Oh, it's at the children's pool. Ah, oh, hey, yes. Dave. Good morning, Dave. Like, Dude, right, you're you on. guys, here's the thing. <laughs> I know that we're on Mom Watch today, and uh, and Mother's Day is very, very special. But I think if you're a mom, you're going to love this scene uh, because, well, come on in here, my friend. This is. Let me get your name. Michael Reese. Michael, and who's uh, your son? This is Asher Reese. Now I know it's Mom's Day today. Brother, did you hear a pause? He said. He said. <laughs> Who's your son? He's my son. What do you mean? Who's, who's that, your son? This baby right here. He's my son. Yeah, he's, who's, he's what's, not the best. How about what's your son's name? Yeah. Right. It's like somebody who has information, but they have to ask the question, but they want everybody to know that they already know the yeah. answer. Who's this kid? Right. That you kidnapped. How yeah. about, yeah. Do you know this boy? <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy. You go, oh, and who's this? Yeah. It's not, and who's your son? <laughs> uh, it's, it's my son. I don't like that he's putting a gender on it. Right, it's exactly. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little baby. Also, speaking of putting a gender on it, he uh, decides that Mother's Day is the best time to uh, interview a father. And by the way, calling it Mom's Day Ugh. is enraging. Nobody does it's that. It's too casual. Right, nobody does it. But you're out here, and uh, is Mom nearby? She, she's sleeping. She helped uh, Asher get ready. We're letting her sleep in today. So here's... Is that right, mommy? Is where's mom? Is mommy is asleep? Fuck off. She's sleeping. He's a little shy when it comes to other people. For the first yes, time. the kid doesn't know how to shy. express mommy's drunk again. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little eight-month-old. It's got great disdain for this David Scott character. Already, the the kid hates this segment. <laughs> yeah, kids looking at look David. at the fucking look on the kid's face. It's know. it's a pure disdain. The kid's like, you really are an asshole. <laughs> Already failing at mom's watch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who, who, who? There's just nobody out there. He's like, I thought there'd be moms out here. There's nobody here. No. But why wouldn't he go where there's moms? Right. Right. 
the supermarket somewhere. Can't be that difficult. <laughs> Get to dad. <laughs> down at La Jolla Cove at 7 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. Right. Well, that's I mean, Where are you going to find moms down there? <laughs> He's a little shy when it comes yeah. to other people for the first time. We're shy, too, you know. That's right. Yeah. So here's the thing. He touches his lip a lot when he's <laughs> trying to Look in the camera there. <laughs> And uh, we'll say that your wife is, is watching right now. What would you like to say to her? What's well, her name? Her name is Jess. Right. Kill me. And I would say that I love you very much. You're the best mom that ever was. And we love you with all our hearts. Who says we, that to the wife? Well, what are you going to say? Do you, you I mean, didn't expect to have to improv no. on, on television. Yeah, you got to talk into a camera on Mother's Day. You better have some good shit. Love shed. you. You're the best. You're a good mom. What's he going to say to her? Fuck out of bed and make me breakfast. Exactly. It would be great if he had unknowingly, if he saw uh, Voss yes. and his daughter walking around and got, because Rich, you would do something. Like, do you have anything you want to say to your wife? <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of bed. <laughs> so we're here on Park Avenue. Right. Anything you'd like to say to your wife? Yeah, don't hang yourself with a scarf when I leave. <laughs> okay, that's uh, <laughs> it's a topical. It's topical. You bet it is. <laughs> Are excited to spend time with you this weekend. Uh, and he says the same. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He can't talk. It's nice you, to meet you. He's a very cute nice kid. Meet you. Yeah. I really, thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate that. And of course, uh, thanks for making our Mother's Day special. How? Um, that's beautiful. By the way, I don't know. If he Michael's will not end a segment. But, and he puts his back to the camera. I've never met anybody, and I have bad camera instincts. Yeah. He literally has his fucking back of his head. <laughs> It's, it's, it's fucking, it's, it's like that's not Oswald's point of view. <laughs> <laughs> you can clearly see his IFB in the shot. It's, it's the most focused fucking thing. terrible. He, he, he will not end a segment either. No. He wants his camera time. The guy said goodbye. The, he literally put the back of his head. He goes, nice to meet you. And, uh, uh. He's blocking the kid. Mm, yeah. He will, well, he doesn't want him to walk away. Let He's got to block him. Let me see it again. Watch me. He turns around. He could have just turned around and faced the ocean. That's beautiful. By the way, I don't know. If, Michael, check it out. Look down there. Can you guys see all the moms down there? That's right. There's a lot of moms down there. That's right. Where are they? We've been showing Seal? him that. Dead, dead shields. Yeah, yeah. he's oh, those excited as well. Absolutely. A lot of moms down there. Uh, Jason and Elizabeth. And, of course, uh, you have our seal of approval on Mom's Day today. Oh, uh, there's, that's there's oh, a wait, pause. Right out. Seals. He wouldn't let the segment end without because saying that. He, he had his line. We have our seal of approval. He had his line, and he, you know what he was doing? If you go back, let's go back a little bit. Because when he goes back, when the guy says, go back to when the guy tries to say goodbye. So it's like, you know, halfway through or whatever. The guy tries to say goodbye, and he's sitting there kind of stammering and stuttering. He's trying to figure, he's like, oh, no, I haven't figured out an organic way to bring up seal of approval. So he just does it. Like, that's what he's doing when the guy says, nice yeah. to meet you. He's like, ah. Uh, uh, how do I how do I tell this guy he has our seal of approval? And he can't think of a way. See, the thing is, and then he goes to the. They look like slugs from this angle. You can't tell. No, no. <laughs> they look like slugs. You can't tell if they're alive. Looks like one of those fucking uh, those PETA PSAs right before <laughs> yeah. they beat these things to death for their fur. <laughs> yeah, they all look beached. They look like beached dying yeah, seals. They look like yeah. Dying or that's what they do there, though, in that area. They That's do? That's a big seal area. Yeah. And they come, they, they go back in the water? Yeah, and they, they'll, they're, like, all over the beaches Can there. you go pet them? Uh, you can get pretty close to them. They don't, I, I've never tried to pet do them. Do they bite? Are you from San Diego? No, but I've been in San he Diego lives, a lot. He, he lives fucks here. a lot of girls in a lot of places. <laughs> oh. That area smells like shit, though. Yeah? With the seal, seal shit? Yeah, there's yeah, seal shit at the guest. <laughs> <laughs> can, can, uh, can you walk up and pet the seals or the, the block? You just that. No, I know, but they block the area off. No, you can. And, like, there's an area where you can swim. Why well, you want to pet the seals so bad? I want to just pet one. I know. Actually, I'm shaped like one. <laughs> well, Cove is a really nice part in San Diego. But, yeah, you can go swimming, and they'll literally just swim right past you. Do they bite you? I've never tried to touch one, but... Come on, asking questions. Now. I want to ask questions. There was a kid in Brazil dragged out of the water with his fucking femur and dick bitten off. Did you see that video? No. no it was I, in our news prep video. No, no, no. I read about it. I didn't watch the video. He died. Uh, well, his day, he bled out from his dick. It was and his, and his femur. His yeah. Fucking femur. The bone, the big bone, and the upper thigh uh, part of your leg. The fucking. Sh it was a tiger shark. And you could see. I, I've seen the unedited footage, of course. Of course you have. It looks like the thing just grabbed him from the side and bit his femur off. And you could see. When a dick gets ripped off, the, it looks almost like the, the fatty tissue from bacon when it's white. Ugh. It's it's an awful thing. 
but it looks like where the dick should be. It's just like a, a white strip. It's so funny. His skin has been pulled off. And uh, you could see that his femur and everything are gone, and there's this white strip where his dick used to be. I was thinking it's terrible. Of, I was thinking of you because I was watching A and E does like a show about cults now, and they did one about the sex cult Nexium with the CW actresses yeah. in it. And one of the girls was talking about like the torture that she had to endure in this sex cult, and she goes, "They said that they uh, wanted to gauge my reaction to something. I didn't know it was a psychological text uh, uh, test, but they put." <clears throat> brain meters you know those sticky things on my head and then they told me to watch this video and it was and she started shaking and she started crying like we're gonna find what this traumatic thing is it was one of these newscasts it was it was, it was the best of david scott <laughs> what was it it was she goes it was a video of a mexican cartel beheading four people and she was like talking oh, about it seen that one like oh, it was this severe traumatic experience in her life and i was like this is just what jim watches before bed this is this is who I'm dealing with. I can't watch the beheading ones anymore. Oh good, oh good. You were on a real run there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. No, but I, I just they're too violent. They're too they're too upsetting. Let's go back to David Scott. Speaking of violent and upsetting, and uh, and scroll back even a little more to when they shake hands. And there, there you go. And he realizes right he there. wants to say it. And and you can you can feel. The awkward, we're not doing anything with this story. And what that moment is, is him trying to figure out how he gets his seal of approval line in. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice you, to meet you. My, nice to meet you. I, really, thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate that. And, of course, uh, thanks for making our Mother's Day special. Um, that's beautiful. By the way, I don't know. If, Michael, check it out. Look down there. Can you guys see all the moms down there? Right. There's a lot of moms down there. That's right. We've been showing By the way, they're showing an aerial view. Like, that's probably 20 feet below them. There's like 50 seals. How great would it be if, if in camera, like one of those four by four fucking show trucks drove through and just started running <laughs> seals over? <laughs> Someone walked with a club. <laughs> yeah. Just started beating them and dragging them off with hooks. And they're yelping helplessly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's excited as well. Absolutely. A lot of moms down there, uh, Jason and Elizabeth. And, of course, uh, you have our seal of approval on Mom's Day today. Mama. There's There's a mom right out there with uh, her child. and uh. it's, it's so awful. He goes, because they can't find any women for this segment. And he goes, a lot of moms, and they're just beach seals. <laughs> 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 Fucking terrible. But they have our... Seal of approval. Can we see one more of this guy? This is Mother's Day Part 2. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We should take Two Mother's Two seals fucking on the beach like Montgomery Cliff. That's nice. <laughs> Babies in the surf there. Look at the little one just ahead of him. It's great. Kind of rolling up there towards it's the seagulls. It's an older seal and a young old seal. There's a seal being molested by an older <laughs> seal. Yay. Mr. Can Wacky's we, back at it. Let me kiss you on the blubber. Just, it is so beautiful. They there wow, they come, they come right, right up to the beach. Yeah, so you can swim right here. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. I wouldn't swim in that water. I might. I don't know if, if seals are not. goddamn seals. The only problem is they might bump into you and not mean it because they're so heavy. They might fuck you up by accident. Yeah, look. They're literally swimming right up to the surface. That's pretty awesome. Just stay at home. No, I'd go pet some no, seals. It's cool. It's no. really cool to see. And they don't fuck with you, right? I'd yeah, rather swim with know. Bobby. And uh, what a beautiful I bet people place. Of course, children's pool. It's where you'll find moms out here. In fact, they're out here. This is where... Come on over here. Oh, because God. Because this oh, is no. where you'll find some children. They love to come out There's and watch living. the seals. Look, Look at the awful fucking, view. The Ooh. fucking whale. Oh, she, looks, <laughs> she looks like that fucking statue in the Time Warner building. <laughs> <laughs> this is unflattering an angle oh. for any Can women as I've ever seen. Can you see the statue in the Time Warner building? Can you find that? Uh, the statue in the... Just before you do it... I oh. wish there was a back view of that. Do you know what that's Of course right? I do. Yeah. I, I don't know if Voss knows that. Do, do you know it, Rich? Uh, let me see. I'll... It's the fucking... Oh, yeah, it's the, the gold female. penis statue. Oh, I never... That yeah. looks exactly like that fucking lady. Yeah. How does that lady not sue them for that? Of course, she's in public. What's she going to sue them for? Look at that fucking body. Do you, do you think they were told, hey, look... The reporter's going to come over and talk to you, or is he just surprising? That none of them know what's happening. I don't think they do either. I mean, I'm going to have to wait on the interaction to find out, but it really feels not choreographed no. at all. Yeah, like, wouldn't you be a little more prepared? I would think yeah. so. Yeah. Lions, take a look. Good morning. How are you? Good. 
Uh, happy Mother's Day to everybody. Thank Who's you. the moms? Raise your hand, moms. <laughs> Mom. What's your name? My name's Ashley. Ashley, where's your little one? She over there somewhere? She's over here, feeding the squirrels. <laughs> What's the best part about being a mom? Just watching her grow up. Dinner? Yeah. Just watching her grow up and loving her every day. Kind of like Fabulous. your mom. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Is your mom here too? Yeah. Is it, mom, that's the... So we got some Why are, generations. There's all people here, and all of them uh -huh. are actually shaped like seals. <laughs> they all look like seals. Who's the charmer on the end? <laughs> fucking Ralphie. How much do you have to eat to get that fucking big? And you're a mom too? How many generations of moms are here? There's four. Four wow. today, yeah. That's incredible. So look at the yeah. camera. Yeah. <laughs> How many generations of moms are here? He has no improv skills whatsoever. And he's been doing this for 20 but years. he insists on improv I love everything. Him. I love Dave That's Scott. Great. He's totally off book. He doesn't yeah. care. Here's the thing about Dave. We can't give him a script. This is why he hasn't graduated from the weekends, because he will not change his game at all. He goes out, he does the wacky shit, and no scripts. And give me any, I need two minutes a shot. He's two probably, No 30-second okay. bullshit. <laughs> I need two minutes a shot. And he's probably well-known in San Diego. I bet he is. I mean, it could be for the wrong reasons, but I'll bet he is. He has to be like the goof of the TV station. He's got to be. They've all got to know. Like, yeah, they just let him do he's it. He's the John Montone. That's kind of, even though John Montone does decent stories. John Montone, yeah, he's not a laughing stock. No. For today, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. What's his secret, Mom? Just loving your family and enjoying every minute with them. Yeah. yeah. And getting a little fresh air early in the morning. Did you see this what? What does that have to do with being a mom? Nothing. <laughs> Got a breeze blow over your clit. Uh, it's nothing to do with it. Why did they go to the Seal Beach to find moms on Mother's Day? It's not Seal Day. It's fucking awful. This is, it's just awful the, where they went and the woman running in the background. How great is she? <laughs> Screensaver. I, the sky, the clouds. It's amazing. How tough, mom, was it to get up? <clears throat> everybody up this early and organized <laughs> I out the door and where do you live in san diego in spring valley yeah and i'm okay. a mom so that's I'm quite a he moves the mic away yeah, exactly. <laughs> shut up it's my time yeah, to talk. exactly just talk about one her. word answer <laughs> and organized out oh. the door and where do you live in san diego in spring valley yeah and i'm okay. a mom so that's I'm quite a way <laughs> we know oh, yeah. but we're blessed to have this so close to us really yeah. Really is. Enjoy. I've never heard more conversations where nobody's listening to each and other. And no one is saying anything. But Nothing. He, he said, You live quite a ways. Mm -hmm. And she said, It's a blessing to have this place so close to us. <laughs> <laughs> let's go back. Let's go back. Yeah. Oh, what a, I didn't a, catch that. That's a great catch. Oh. Yeah, let's go back to it. Oh, yeah. This is yeah, about I'll 10 seconds. how far Spring Valley was from La Jolla Co. But. Oh. That's quite a ways, way. as we know. Oh, Spring yeah. And where do you live in San Diego? In Spring Valley, yeah. And oh, okay. I'm a mom, so That's I'm quite a ways, early. as we know. Oh, Spring yeah. Valley. But we're blessed to have this so close to us. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> <laughs> One of them are lying. That's the opposite. <laughs> yeah, how far is it, Troy? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it Holy is quite... <laughs> shit, the polar opposite. <laughs> and she agreed with it. She goes, yeah, it is quite a ways, but we're blessed to have this, we're so, blessed close. To have this so close. I was like, what? 28 miles. It's not far at all. Now. Especially at that time in the morning. How are you place. blessed to have that fucking shitty beach with a bunch of seals close? You can get there in less than a half hour. Yeah, there's better beaches in San Diego. Is there a whole bunch of seals on them? No. They want to see all the seals. Yeah. yeah. What do you want to say to all the moms out there? Happy Mother's Day and enjoy your children and, and your mothers that raised you. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah. All right. And we're going to enjoy the weather today, too. It is so beautiful. We got a nice little breeze. Enjoy the weather Waves is dark as cloudy. Cloudy. It's it's cloudy. cloudy and shitty. It's, it's com fucking you. worst day. It's completely great. It's fucking horrible. Yeah. It's Somebody in the news room said, all right, look, get him away from the fucking beach. <laughs> get him away from the fucking beach. Put a road in there somewhere. More best of Jim Norton and Sam Roberts on the way. Of Jim Norton and Sam Roberts right now. Let's play this guy's clip. The, the, by the way, the highlight of this is not the story. You don't think so? No. Hmm. It's the beat reporter. <laughs> Who's about the highlight? About to hear secretly <laughs> recorded audio that landed a Middle Tennessee police officer in trouble. The explicit recordings raise troubling questions about the officer's conduct and why he still has a job and a warning. The content is graphic. He would go into this oh. convenience store and hit on this woman. Williams has and she taped him.
Channel 5 investigates exclusive. I don't do big girls. Don't have to. Not with this. What you are hearing is a police officer. You do look this guy. Talking to a citizen he was supposed to be protecting. Protecting. How can you? It's the worst it? voice I've ever heard anyone. <laughs> Talking to a citizen he was supposed to be protecting. It's like if Craig Schenkel became a reporter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but his nose was stuffed. <laughs> he was supposed to be protecting. Go back a little bit. I want to hear him now. Please In listen to this deaf narration. He's deaf. <laughs> it's terrible. I don't do big girls. Don't have to. Not with. What you are hearing is a police officer. What the? You do look good, baby. Hot. Talking to a citizen he was supposed to be protecting. The he voice. sounds like like How a can you some kind of a voice machine. Yes. Like that's just processing syllables. But, but the, it's syllables. It's, there's worse. It, it gets worse. I love that. You defend speaking to a woman like that? Okay, sir. I don't have any statement. South Carthage police officer Frank Geisenhofer. Everything about Frank is scary. But it's even more scary because he has a badge. Elizabeth Ooh. Restrepo is a convenience store clerk who began <laughs> making the recordings in the early morning hours when the on duty officer would visit. Wait, 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 when wait, wait, the on duty officer. Did you just say own? The on duty officer. When the on duty officer. He's a terrible talker. Anyone else should be narrating this. Yeah, why would that this be this man's job? It started when he was the on duty officer. Like they can easily Ugh. figure if he's great at reporting, he's awful, this like guy. Just, just an amazing yeah. reporter. Just collect the information and yeah. give it to somebody who can read. Hey, scoops. Let someone else do the narration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just you just go and get get to the bottom of something. Yeah, you get the skinny and we'll do the rest. Let somebody else present it. Yeah, Let's you get do a the presenter. Strepo is a convenience store clerk who began making the recordings in the early morning hours when the on duty officer would visit. <laughs> After she visit. says he went from asking her for nude pictures of herself pictures. to showing her video of himself masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> masturbating. Masturbating. First, he wants a nude picture. Yeah, like a nude like, picture of herself. Like they, they you pour drinks out of. <laughs> like, this is my nude picture. And then video of him masturbating. Masturbating. It's the worst narration of anything I've ever heard, oh, it's meaning a, it's the best. It's, yeah. Masturbating. We her for nude pictures of herself to showing her video of himself masturbating. <laughs> masturbating. I don't know what to say. He's showing a video of himself masturbating. Every delicious syllable. Yeah. After this, by the way, maybe when we're doing Ken Kratz, somebody, I would love to find this reporter and see if there's some more stories he does. Yeah. yeah. Or just get him on the phone and get him just, just asking questions oh, just to get him to say fun let's, words. Let's do that, yeah. yeah. Masturbating. What did you find video of this guy doing? He's masturbating. Masturbating. Where'd she work? At a convenience store. Definitely, yes, definitely, yes. Uh, honestly, I think my mind went just blank, like, wow. Like, did that really just happen? Then she says Geisenhofer asked for video of her pleasuring herself. Go of her said, pleasuring herself. This cop was asking for video of her sister because he was like, is that your sister? He's like, get me a picture of her titties. <laughs> <laughs> Cops asking her to get a picture of her sister's titties. Why would, have, why would she have a photo of her sister's tits? She, I think, was kind of... So what are the photo of the titties? What are the photo of her breasts? <laughs> I think that this woman was just really scared, but she, when you listen to the tape, she was kind of acting like she wasn't... She was kind of okay with it, but I think she was just nervous. Yeah. She didn't, she didn't know how to act. And she, yeah, she probably was like, if I... I don't know what this guy... If he is brazen enough... Brazen enough. Brazen. ...to ask me for photos like this, I don't know what he's going to do if I say no. Well, he's supposed to be protecting her. <laughs> Are you supposed to be protecting Is this guy her? the best? He's yeah. the best. You're not supposed to show videos of you <laughs> masturbating. Masturbating. <laughs> we have more of this guy. I remember. Right. Really? Like that. He said, no, huh? I'm serious. He said, if you ever were to do that, give me a video. I'll pay for it. I will owe you big, he says. And that's when you decided to record him. It's not that guy who's doing the well, voice. That's the same guy. Yeah, it is. It because is. Because I had to prove. I didn't want it to just be an officer against a girl that just works at a convenience store. Those, those mm, nipples. 
On the recordings, Geisenhofer goes from quickly asking Restrepo for nude pics of herself. <laughs> nude pics. Yeah, was that's my, my favorite. I think that's my new favorite. Nude pics. Nude pics of herself. Nude, nude pics of herself. Nude pics. Like, first of all, in not that voice, in just a regular broadcaster's voice, you wouldn't say nude pics. Nude pics. Why would you say pics? By the way, the cop goes, those, those nipples, whew. <laughs> <laughs> like that's a charming thing to do. Yeah. Nice nips. Whew. Look at those areolas. I actually sent a girl a, a text recently that said, I like your areola. You did? She made fun of me. <laughs> I bet she did. It's yeah. not charming. Yeah, no, it was too clinical. And he sent a text to say, nice Riola. Well, is he up here, Travis, or is he just checking the bottom? Uh, downstairs. I, like a couple minutes ago, he checked in downstairs. Okay. Maybe he can send us nude pics. Nude pics. Rowan's calling. Okay, let's just see, because our guest may be arriving early. Oh, well, he can oh, wait the for, for after the nude pics. Is he upstairs or is he downstairs? Yeah, he's in the lobby. Okay. Well, tell him to wait in the lobby. <laughs> I mean, he's early. Yeah, he's I know early. he is, but I don't mind going early, talking to our guest early. <laughs> Tell Roland to get him. Bring him on in, Roland. Bring him in. We'll talk. You know how much people are hating this right now? I hope a lot. <laughs> it's the best of Jim Norton, Jim Norton. and Sam Roberts. Sam Roberts. Before we uh, run out of time, shouldn't we take a revisit into what we started the show with? With our... Uh, with our, stop biting your fucking nails on the air. I'm not. I'm just talking to you. It's annoying. It's not professional. People hate it at home. Oh, Jess is in her hospital room just listening right now going, why the fuck is he biting his nail? That's not what she's regretting in the hospital room right now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we should go back to the uh, uh, police officer who was trying to get Ken Kratz, this, uh, yeah. <laughs> this, this shop attendant. Uh, we remember we, we started this early this morning. If you missed any of the show, listen on demand. It was just a barn burner today. But uh, this... I liked Ken. Did you like him? I thought he was very open. I liked him and I liked, the, I liked that he answered everything he had an answer for everything he wasn't shitty about anything i was he was perfectly fine with me as long as i was being respectful telling him that i was skeptical of his book sure. i didn't necessarily believe him and asking him every question that i could think did of. did i seem skeptical answered, no you didn't seem skeptical. i wasn't at all you seemed like yep we'll take juror number 12 right there yep that's the juror we want absolutely yep, i was yeah. a ken kratz Fanboy today. Yeah, you were. Yes, I was. But that's okay because I was I was asking questions and and then it was and and I hated was, him before that. Right. But, but once he spoke up, I liked him. You're what they call a Ken Kratz convert. That's right. Convert. I've converted Ken. to to I'm a Ken Kratz fanboy, and I admire the fact that he was able to give up that texting. I have not been able to do that. <laughs> you haven't. <laughs> You haven't? No. You still fall victim to the old texter ruse? I do. That's what <laughs> I do. I mean, I've never texted a domestic violence victim, but I've never, you know. But not, not to say you won't. I'm not above that. I'm just, <laughs> just never come up. Right. 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 Oh, it just never hold came Hold on. Up. Adrian wants to comment. What do you remember that the boss said? <laughs> said <laughs> you don't still mind. have that, do you, Travis? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I do. Actually. Oh, just for a second. <laughs> Travis is plugging his iPod into the board right now. He's got that in his personal collection. I, I remember. I gave up soda I, for like two months. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is the second Sam says it. He's like, I, oh, I remember, boss. Yeah. Yeah. You I, sure you I, want a mint julep, boss? I, I, I remember. remember. I gave up soda I, for like... I, I remember. I gave up soda I, for like two <laughs> months. I remember. You do, right? I bet you do. <laughs> That made me laugh. That's my favorite moment of today. Even more than Ken Kratz was your eagerness, was your sitting up in the chair. Adrian, what do I like to drink in the morning? Tell him, Bo. Soda. Yeah. Oh, it's an apple now. What happened? Yeah, he knows. He knows. He I knows. Was, yeah, I pay attention. He, he tried to quit, right? Yeah, well, it didn't last long. It was no. like a, but on the weekends, he would have soda. You remember. He remembers. Yeah. The Fridays. Yeah. He remembers. Yeah. I was there. So do you want to go back? I mean. So I do. This story is a cop who uh, was harassing this woman who works in a store and trying to get her to send him nude photos, then send him nude photos of her sister, then he was trying to get her to watch a video of him masturbating. Oh, the guy's voice. <laughs> you send me out of the cop, too. Get me a picture of them titties about her sister. Yeah. So, so on one hand, you've got a cop trying to get pictures of the titties, and on the other hand, you have maybe the worst newsreader of all time. 
It's great. Let's let's continue on uh, with this story. Birthday, so I was hoping you'd send me a picture or something. To asking for pictures of her sister's breasts. Little baby blonde. Blonde, baby yeah. Oh, yeah, that's my sister. Uh, give me a picture of those two. <laughs> give me a picture. Just this one time. No. He comes back. Give me a picture of those titties. The over and over and over. I saw a picture on Facebook of whatever she is to you. She's going to give me a picture of her <laughs> titties, yeah. is what he keeps saying. Restrepo says at first she did not know how to deal with the <laughs> self <self-conscious laughs> She did not know how to <laughs> deal with the. She said at first she did not know how to deal with the. He really is speaking poorly. Can we hear that sentence again? That was not good. He really he got lazy and he decided to just get one of those Stephen Hawking machines <laughs> and just be like, I just let the computer read my report. Uh, she said, uh, she did not. She did not. Uh, it's terrible. <laughs> just, He's not doing a good job. He has to read every hard consonant as hard as humanly possible. It's really bad. She's going to give me a picture of her. A sister? Yeah. Restrepo says at first she did not know how to deal with the South Carolina <laughs> officer's indecent request. Her request. Did you hear him say request? request? Request. She did not know at the decent request. South Carthage officers in decent request. Her initial instincts. <laughs> Laugh it off. Kind of, oh, Frank, you're crazy. You know, whatever you have to do, to be honest. What do you say? Did you ever say, stop it? No. Why not? Maybe because of who he is. Maybe because of the things I know about Frank. Yeah. Maybe because I was scared. Yeah. Maybe because I didn't know what to do. Mm. He's an officer of the law. Then one day while she was recording, Restrepo says Geisenhofer reached out and touched her. Grabbed yeah. my hair. We sat and touched and just, her. He reached out and touched her. Why does, he, her. why does he sound like a sitcom character who's just learning the language? He sounds like a foreign 80s sitcom character. Latka, Balki. This guy. He's really bad. You wanted to reach out and touch her. Touch her. He to touch her titty. He touched her hair. He touched her hair. Her hair. He's really bad. He's the worst I've ever heard. I don't understand how they could allow this to air on television, let alone on the internet. Like, like He's probably a senior reporter there. He's oh. probably been there for a long time, and they just no one can tell him that listening to you is horrible. Yeah. You keep biting off chunks of your tongue. You can't talk anymore. <laughs> Finish playing before I kiss you on the cheek. Made it like that. He said, oh, "Make a like picture." <laughs> he said, "Give me just a picture." Barely. Just barely covering barely. your nipples. Yeah. But with your hands on your hip. You can smell his breath. I love. Like, you could tell too. You're right. What you said earlier. She's nervous because he goes, uh, "Give me a picture with your hands barely covering your nipples," and she goes, <laughs> "Just barely." No, your hair barely covering, yeah. Like, she's just trying to make it seem like, ah, oh, just like, ah, oh, She doesn't know okay. how to handle it. He's a cop, and she doesn't know. She doesn't know what to do. And he wants pictures of her nipples. Yeah, she's a picture of her breath. <laughs> she doesn't breathe. Breasts. <laughs> I'm masturbating. I'll see if she's masturbating again. Be great. I didn't know what to do. But to stand there and let him do it. He said, I can smell your cunt. A cunt. At some point after Geisenhofer heard that Restrepo might have been upset with him, he returned <laughs> to the store and seemed to admit he had crossed the line. Uh, did did you say crossed the line? Yeah. He Qua- had crossed the line. Crossed the line. Mama, Restrepo. Mama, did they say you crossed the line? He's like an SNL character. He's amazing. News reader who can't read good. I really want to go over and find more things this man has read. Yeah. He's my new favorite reporter that's yeah, ever left. Ever. I crossed the lawn. The cop had to come back and talk to her, though. Might have been upset with him. He <laughs> returned to the store and seemed to admit he had crossed the line. <laughs> I did something crossed. to you one night, and I felt bad about it. I, I didn't touch you, but I almost did. I almost <laughs> but touched I almost, you, but no. I held. And I felt bad about it. That must have been tough. More than you know. You felt violated? Absolutely. By the way, you have to watch the video. If you, the reporter is just talking to her. Yeah. He literally has the same face you have before you hit a woman in the face with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> you felt violated. Well, how about now? Oh, so wonk. Look at his stare. 
Watch his face as he's talking. He's not even, he's just listening to her. He's not intending. But look at the mug on this guy. Yeah. It's weird, uh, though. When he's doing this interview, you can't tell there's anything weird about his voice. Really. No, because he's talking quietly. Because he's, no, he's concentrating too much on his face where he's fighting the urge to bite her nose. <laughs> More than you know. You felt violated. Absolutely. Well, here's the deal. Finally, in that last conversation, Finally. the officer admitted to having shown her the video of himself masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, he admitted he showed the video of himself masturbate. Could you just hear the word masturbate? Masturbating again? That, that, if anything, <laughs> needs to be on your soundboard. Oh my it's God. Masturbate. masturbate. Let me hear him say masturbate. Shown her the video of himself masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> masturbate. Video of himself masturbate. <laughs> yeah, I myself. Myself. Yeah. You know? Yeah, in fact, save me to myself. <laughs> and so, I erased that too, by the way. I nearly jumped high as the sky because I knew that finally I could prove he really did show me that. That is high. And I thought, well, I finally got him. That's what I thought. It wasn't just your word against the police officer's word. No. Tuesday at 10, our, our investigation continues. No statements. All, all the recordings you were talking about asking a woman to expose herself in court. How can you possibly defend that, sir? In court? Sir. No statement. That's great. Elizabeth Restrepo took her recordings to South Carthage Police back in December and filed a complaint in a written <laughs> statement submitted to his chief. What Geisenhofer essentially admitted to everything, although he claims <laughs> she let him know that... Okay, at the end of that word. It's not everything. He initially admitted to everything. He sounds like a deaf drunk person. His name is, his name is Phil Williams. Of anybody that should be able to, you would think would be able to just enunciate clearly. Phil Williams would be the guy. Let's hear his, let's hear his- Philly uh, Billy! Let's hear his name. Uh, I want to hear him say Phil Williams. I feel essentially Williams. admitted to everything, although he <laughs> claims she let him own that she was the first wait, 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 to show wait. inappropriate Why did he just say she let, let him own? own. <laughs> He's a weird accent. Yes. Where's he from? Oh, I want to talk to him. And this is in Tennessee? Yeah, he's, he's probably trying to shed his accent wherever he's from. We should talk to him. I would love to talk to him. I would love to talk to him. Does he say his name? Phil Williams. Or essentially admitted to everything, although he claims she let him own that she was the first <laughs> to share inappropriate pictures, something that Carrie She emphatically denies. What happened here? It looks like he's still on the job. Well, he, he is still on By the, the way, job after hearing both sides. When he turned sides. around and looked at the anchor who's talking to him, he, I have never seen a reporter that more closely resembles Steve Carell in Anchorman. Like, he looks like the living incarnation of I Love Lamp. Like, he, he turns around to talk to her, and it's the most unnatural thing, and he has to stop what he's doing when he turns around, because he obviously can't do two, he doesn't have the brain power right. or capacity to do both things at once. So, he, so he's like talking, like, okay, I'm gonna go over here, just uh, once I'm done saying this, you ask me a question, okay, Jim? Okay. All right, so I'm just uh, saying, and this is what happened. Would you kill yourself? No, Jim. <laughs> I hated the turn and the answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best of Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Do we have a second uh, clip of this guy? Oh, you bet. I have not do. heard the second clip. So story. this is the follow-up, if you remember. So we found this uh, reporter who... Phil Williams. At first, it was just an interesting news story. It was a cop who was going to this like supermarket and was going up to a woman and trying to get her first to show send him photos of his of her sister's titties yeah and her body right let me see those titties i believe is what yeah, he said let me see your sister's titties right and then he was showing her video of him what was he doing in the video um i, I think he was uh masturbating masturbating it took us about five seconds in watching this video to realize that the only thing worth reporting on in the whole thing was how amazing the reporter's voice was phil williams i could listen to 
all day, every day. He's one of the great newsmen of all time. I'll say he is too. He is, isn't he? Because he talks in a really interesting way. And you know, I, like I, a deaf person. I googled him a bunch to see if I could find like, are we making fun of somebody with an accent? Are we making fun of somebody with a speech impediment? Right. I figured that he must just be from someplace else. Like yeah. he, he must be from another country. And he was born in Tennessee. Yeah. Like he is. Tried and true. This is a Tennessee news channel. He's probably channel. trying to shed the accent. You think he's actively trying, and he thinks that this just sounds more reporting. Yeah, he's trying to talk and not have the accent. So he just concentrate on the syllable. Yeah, because he doesn't sound like a southerner. No, he doesn't sound so like... So did you... He barely sounds like a person. Can we hear more of this guy? I So there's a follow-up, because the cop... He wouldn't talk to him. The cop's like, I have no statement, sir. Sir, right. I have no statement. Cop showed the girl a video of himself jerking off, and he admitted they got it on tape. He was doing what? He was, oh, you're right, you know, he was uh, masturbating. I see. I mean, I mean, no. I remember. And then uh, they walked up to the cop, and he was like, <laughs> oh, boy, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. I wish I hadn't said that. I'm glad you did. In hindsight, yeah. In seventh grade? It changed the course of your life. I know. I could have said different things. Many, Many different things. That would any, have been better. any, you could have said anything. It would have been better. Oh shit! This bitch got a dick. That would have been better. It would have been much better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's get the the follow up on what's going on in the life of what's his name, Phil Williams. Williams. Phil Williams. Phil Williams here. Current police officers lewd behavior. That's let's not how, let's see how the first revealed this Let's see secret how long it takes during him talking to, to, he, to hear. Let's hear how long. He talks before he sounds awful. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have a new bell, by the way. You know, I like the triple bell. What's wrong with that one? It's just a dud. Wait, there's one. Can you triple bell again? I want to... I want... There's, there's, no, there's no tonality to that third bell. No, thank you to some listener who sent in a little bell. Look, it, listen to the old little bell. Ooh, that's a crisp sound. Okay. That's a deeper crisp. Okay, and then... Hello! What's... So that, that's the fourth bell. And there's the third one. That's kind of dead, and this is D-Bags. That's the new one? That's the one that D-Bag bought you? Yes, the fucking teacher's pet. Here's the new crisp one from the listener. Thank you that's, for a good crispy bell. I like that one. That's like a, a, a bell at a hotel desk. I'll say it is. Service, please. A peck of. <laughs> <laughs> store clerk for nude pictures and even making all sorts of other sexual comments. News Channel 5 chief investigative reporter Phil Williams first broke this story. Uh, he went to Smith County looking for answers. How can you defend speaking to a woman like that? Okay, sir. I don't okay. have any statement if you want. We wanted to ask South Carthage Ooh, police officer Frank Geisenhofer about these recordings. <laughs> what are you talking sister? about? Where he about asked a local... These recordings. I think he's trying to not have the accent. Yeah, I think that might be a good call. We want, you know, because they want you to be, whenever you're a news person, they train you to lose, so you're not regional. What's it called? Like a Montana accent or something like that? It's a specific state that doesn't have any cadence to oh, it. Oh, I don't know. I think it's 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 a, a Montana or one of those states. Uh, General American. General American. I don't know why 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 can't you have your news delivered by a guy with a southern accent? Because you don't want it to, you want it to feel like it's why? relatable. But it is relatable. That's no, how shallow people are. That's it. You can't hear a guy with a New York accent or a fucking Philadelphia accent deliver the news? Plus, there are people that are biased. I think there's probably a lot of people who uh, run news on, stations that are like... Stupid. Nobody wants their news read by some fucking southern hick. Yeah, there was a synagogue got set on fire. <laughs> and he set the synagogue on fire. There's no reason to not just talk like yourselves on television. Well, there's... Unless you're Phil Williams. Pop, 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 pack of... <laughs> Convenience to report calls. for new... Pictures. She said pictures again. Terrible. Of her and her sister. I'm not a lawyer. And when we tried to ask the police chief, <laughs> police, <laughs> chief. <laughs> police chief. Yeah, he's really a weird enunciation. That's like a Hispanic thing. Like, yeah. don't call the police. That's when, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really is. It's a weird, like, born in America, but your whole family's Dominican thing. Yeah. Don't call the police. When I call the police chief. There is the law. Shut the fuck and when up. We tried to okay? ask the police. Shut the I didn't fuck mean to do up. that. My hand is up here. Yeah, because I'm listening to Phil. Why would you tell Phil to shut I the did, fuck I up? I really didn't. You did that. It was by mistake. You apologize to Phil? 
So we. Okay, I'll take that, that was on purpose. <laughs> and her sister. There's the lawyer. And when we tried to ask the police chief. <laughs> Make sure the name is Brooks. B R double O K. What are you hell are you doing here for? Uh, he I ducked behind the town's lawyer. lawyer. He's not he out here. He ducked behind the town's lawyer. Lawyer. He ducked behind the lawyer. Because he wants to go. He hid behind a lawyer. Yeah. He deed up behind a town's lawyer. And yeah. he's trying to sound, uh, he's trying to have a, a, a natural accent. So boy, stupid. Boy, I tell you what, we went to the chief, he ducked behind that, that town lawyer. And they were yelling the N word. He ducked behind the lawyer. It's, it's the funniest fucking voice. It's amazing. More. Anyone. He's out here to give him a piece. That's what he, I mean, that's what he's doing. A piece of ass. You have a good one. Elizabeth Restrepo says she began making the recordings after Geisenhofer came into the store where she works with a video to show her. It turns out it was him masturbating. <laughs> oh, he did it again. As he did it again. He did the line. He did the line. Say the line. Phil. 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 Masturbating. Yeah. Show her. It turns he out it. it was him masturbating. Yeah. Oh, honestly, I think he did the line. It's blank like, wow, like, did that really just happen? Did an officer really just not only put a video of that in my face, but then tell me that that's him? And he's in uniform. Yes. As he's doing this. Yes. On duty. Phil's rageful oh, yes. face is so funny. Yeah. When you look at his face, he looks... It's the most menacing stare. Like, like when the camera's on her, he's just mumbling, cunt. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because when he's talking, when you see him talking, when he's like face to face with a person doing an interview, his voice isn't as bad, not nearly. But you're right. He's got this sociopathic look on his face, like, tell me what happened, and then I'm going to fucking kill you. Yeah. I'm going to bury a hammer in your head. <laughs> Piece of shit, bitch. <laughs> Pagers are going off. Maybe I can get myself. Yeah. You know? Yeah, in fact, save me to myself. Andrew Strepo says Geisenhofer eventually asked her for a video of her pleasuring herself. She says she felt trapped. Who was I going to call when he asked for a video? The police? He was the one that asked for it. Adrian, could you stop that? Chip, did you have a joke you wanted to make? No. Are you sure you didn't whisper anything just now? Go back and play it. No, I didn't. Go back a little bit. I think you know to what part. She says she felt trapped. Who was I going to call? Let me ask for a video. Okay, stop it, Chip. Is there something you wanted to share with the rest of us? <laughs> huh? No. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> She says she felt trapped. Who was I going to call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. What a dick face. <laughs> All right. Hold on now. Let me ask for a video. The police. Mm. He was the one. Back in December, she took her recording to Geisenhofer's chief, and in a written statement, the officer essentially admitted to everything. He everything. He essentially admitted to everything. He put a K in it. Everything. 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 He essentially admitted to everything. He sounds like Tommy Wiseau. Yeah. He's just trying, like, he's got some unplaceable accent. Everything. It gets a, a picture of everything. And in a written statement, the officer essentially admitted to everything, but suggested Restrepo had let him own. <laughs> what the fuck Excellent. is that? Is this, the, done is this what? the first or second story? This is, this is the, second. the second. Wow. He's recapping They're some recapping of part of the yeah. first one. Because he felt like Estrepo had let him own. <laughs> Bo had let him own. Oh. You never sent him any pictures. Absolutely not. Or videos. No. This Absolutely. was all unwanted. Yes. Every bit of it. They, they banned me from tournaments. Don't go in tournaments.
In fact, on the recordings, Geisenhofer describes being ordered fuck? to stay out of another store, and he boasts about pressuring another woman to expose herself right in the middle of a courtroom. It's like he holds his breath. breath. Yeah. It's like he's holding his breath because you could tell in that sentence. He's like, and he put the 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 Yeah, he's trying he's trying very hard to get a better gig. Yeah, he's trying to get out of Tennessee, you think? For Williams, I'm just not in news. <laughs> I feel like I might be from New York. They should give him a nightly news show. I'd watch him every night. I would too. I'd like to know what he's reporting on. He's a great investigative reporter. He sure is. I'd like I mean, he could report on anything. Just the Phil Williams voiceover show. He's also now talking about this cop who got banned from another show, and the cop is talking another story. The cop's talking about texting this girl in court. <laughs> the best. I love the guys. Cop. I love Officer Geisenhauser. <laughs> or Geisenhofer. Geisenhofer. Let me see that pussy. Spread your legs. Let me see that pussy. She put in big bowl letters. No. Please, I said please, baby, please. I, I sit like the the, the jury. I was sitting over there. Why is he telling all this to a cashier? Didn't have on no panties. Didn't have on no panties what or nothing. What does that say about him as an officer of the law? Exactly. You're and dead. Every day. <laughs> He's just staring at her. Yeah, then when she goes to answer, I'm going to rip your nipples off. <laughs> I'm going to burn you with an iron. <laughs> you will never leave this interview room. As soon as she's, as soon as she starts talking, and he knows the cameras on him. He just starts making <laughs> veiled threats, giving her the finger. <laughs> he should have shot you. Yeah. <laughs> he, he just fl- turns his mic off, and he goes, "I'm going to stab you in your torso yeah. over and over, piggy." I'm going to put an M80 in your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? Nothing. Continue. Yeah, nothing. I'm just going to think of you dying while I'm masturbating. <laughs> he's, he's just getting his thumb out and just scraping it across his, his throat yeah. while she's talking. You're dead, bitch. Yeah. This is you, bitch. You're dead. <laughs> he's just, so menacing He's looking. so unprofessional. I can't believe this is how he handles his interviews. So menacing looking without meaning to. He really is. And then he can't talk either. He gets to wake up and put that badge on. So we had some questions for Geisenhofer. No statements. On oh, the recordings you were talking about asking a woman to expose herself in court, how can you possibly defend that, sir? Sir, no statements. I mean, you listen to the recordings and no it statements. sounds horrible for an officer of the law. No statements, sir. Okay. Ultimately, South Carthage Chief David Long Ultimately. He just leaves off consonants. He just rushes. Ultimately. They probably told him to shorten his report. He just <laughs> chop a few letters. Yeah, that's the way he thought about it. He was like, if I say picture instead of picture, it will save some time. They feel you got to knock 38 seconds off this. All right. Okay, I take off the T in ultimately and say ultimately. Okay, that's one second. He was probably doing it very quickly, too. Like They are like, All right, you lost too much time because he was probably saying, Officer... Gowerfer. <laughs> Boo. Boo. No statement, sir. Okay. Ultimately, South Carthage <laughs> Chief David Long suspended Geisenhofer for two weeks without pay and ordered him to stay out of Restrepo's market wow. unless she called for help. An officer of the law you know, can I, do these things. When I listen to that story, that, to me, is probably what's going to make everything better. I think the real problem was... The supermarket. I, was, I don't disagree. If he doesn't, if he's not back in that supermarket, yeah, I think the behavior will end up correcting itself. Only two weeks without pay. Two weeks without pay. That's kind of creepy shit. And then he can't, but he can't go in the supermarket anymore. So once he's back, and he's not going in the supermarket, problem solved. Problem solved. Yeah, they should probably also keep him out of jury boxes. Yeah, yeah. That, that How embarrassing too. is this? Oh, it's for just Walk away and still be getting up. And putting that badge on. Still. But yet, if it was a person that didn't have a badge, they would have done went to jail. Fuck you, bitch. It's not what it seems, okay? <laughs> Is it appropriate for you to be using the language that, that, seems, that you used? It's not what it seems, okay? No statements, okay? okay. Can I... Does he not owe us some answers about We wanted to ask the chief about his decision. After what you heard on the tape, are you comfortable with him still being on the street? No comment. Chief of police hide behind a What would you tell the citizens lawyer. when... Plus hide behind a lawyer. That's fucking is. embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. And you know, too, Phil Williams is looking at that lawyer with the southern accent. No comment. You sound like an asshole with that accent. Yeah. But that makes the chief look like a coward. 
Of course it like does. War, you're the chief of police and you don't say a word about this? Talk to my lawyer. They hear these recordings. No comment. Just like I told Chief Long, I said, what if it was your daughter, your wife, your sister, your mother? Name more women. This too. You guys tell me you have no education with those yeah. accents. And as she's saying, your mother, your sister, your Phil's going, I would cut their throats. <laughs> <laughs> I would decapitate them. That's my favorite part of Phil, just sitting there in those interviews menacing women as he's talking to them. Violent, hateful <laughs> face. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. And just editing out all the stuff that he's saying. That's how he gets him to tear up. Yeah. He's like, You're gonna, all those women are going to fucking die. Can you answer? Let's go back a little bit and play this lady talking again just for a second. There you go. No, just, just her talk. Okay. Recordings. No comment. Just like I told Chief Long, I said, what if it was your daughter, your wife, I would cut her sister. clitoris off, <laughs> and then I would bash her teeth in. I'm going to skin those bitches alive, yeah. or I would flay her and masturbate on her face. <laughs> <laughs> what, what a scumbag. <laughs> What a crazy man. It's Phil Williams. I would peel the skin off her face and laugh. <laughs> Phil, like, you got to get a hold of yourself, dude. I would flay her clit. <laughs> okay, news team, here's my report. I did some editing of my own. <laughs> he won't let them have the raw no, tape. Of course not. He's talking <laughs> about her in the tits. <laughs> yeah. I, will, I will beat you about the breasts. <laughs> Oh, she stinks. <laughs> Your mother. If Frank was doing this too. I said, would it still be okay then? What did you think should have happened? <laughs> that badge should be gone. He's ready. He's ready. Officer Geisenhofer's personnel file shows he's been disciplined at least eight times in the last nine years, including being demoted from sergeant back down to patrol. I am South concentrating Mayor Jimmy on Wheeler every told word I say. He is? I am concentrating on all the syllables. He's just not a natural talker. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. Not at all. In the last nine years, including being demoted from sergeant back down to patrol, South Carthage Mayor Jimmy Wheeler told me that he felt taking away the officer's badge would have been too severe at this point because Geisenhofer still needs two more years so he can retire. Look, you don't want to see Phil a cop lose his pension because that's a dangerous job and they, they, you know. Sure. But you're showing fucking... Well, then again, he thought she let him. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to see the guy lose his pension. I guess. But I mean, would, you put him on desk duty. If you're that grossly abusive of yeah, well, the job. But was he being abusive? If it's he, he, true. Thought it, he might have thought it was a back and forth. That's true. He, he's just an ass. He's an asshole. He thought it was a back and forth. Just like I thought it was a back and forth. When I told her I'd skin her alive. Yeah. <laughs> when I told her I would flay her and put salt on her body. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Look at the I face. Could, he looks like a psychopath. Yeah, it's just it his natural face. One more thing before you go. I'm going to eat your tits. Yeah. What? <laughs> Phil Williams, NBC News. <laughs> he just can't control himself anymore. No. He slips and says, I'm going to eat your tits on the news. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes <laughs> I got caught one time watching video of uh, cartel beheadings and masturbating. <laughs> so is there any more of him? This, kind is, of this is research. <laughs> this is just research. <laughs> no, not anything other than this investigation. That's we're, it? We're going we're gonna to keep track of him. Yeah, he, he just came out of nowhere and just appeared. Did you email me that thing? I have it. Oh, okay, thank uh, you, buddy. Great. What thing is it? No, I just asked me to email me something. Nude photos? Mm -mm, no, he texted me those. Mm -mm, yeah, mm -mm. over a mirror. Adrian sends me pictures of himself squatting over a mirror oh. so I can get the bottom view of those balls and asshole. Oh. <laughs> the Mary Jean special? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I want to see if she's lost a press on nail, so I'm helping her find it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think Phil Williams just showed up one day? There's got to be more reports that he's done. What, yeah, he, there has to be. Maybe click his name there. Yeah, in the byline. Oh, Ew, it's just his he? email address. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Such an immature joke. <laughs> it's like a third grade joke. Yeah, I'll, I I'll find more stuff. On. Yeah. Did you hear Jim's buy joke? I did. What did you think of that? Not great. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Well. Happy about it. Jesus Christ, Sam. Whoa! You're a 
angry. I'm going to play that one a lot tonight. It's great. More Best of Jim Norton and Sam Roberts on the way. We are back with more Best of Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Let's listen to <laughs> Phil Williams as he uncovers the seedy underbelly of, uh, of, Nashville. of, of the Nashville uh, mayoral seat. Megan Berry insists that she has not abused her position. And she says she hopes Nashville will forgive her. She sat down with News Horrible Channel 5 that lady's investigative wearing. reporter Yikes. Bill Williams. So good. Well, the mayor made a stunning admission this afternoon, just days after we began asking questions about how she and her police bodyguard used <laughs> What is money. going on? <laughs> <laughs> him. Him. His bodyguard. <laughs> her bodyguard. Her bodyguard. Used his <laughs> eyes are almost touching his ears. <laughs> and, his, and his mouth opens in the middle, and then it just, it's glued shut on the outside. <laughs> it's <laughs> great. Bodyguard using your money. Your money. Can you go back a little bit so we can see all Let's the glory enjoy that is him. Phil? Your buddy. By the way, Kelsey, I want you to know something. After we featured him um, a few months ago, exposing uh, somebody who was masturbating. Yeah. He won uh, a logo. <laughs> masturbating. <Emmy>. Yeah. <laughs> masturbating. <laughs> masturbating. He won a local Emmy. Yeah, he did. He's Are you good. serious? Yeah. Wow. Phil Williams is the shit. Yeah. <laughs> we love Phil Williams. He's the greatest. <laughs> would you interview him? Oh, my God. I would. I, he would be in here for a co-host with us. <laughs> He'd be here for the whole show. Yeah. I don't think he's probably too hard to get, to be honest with you. He, he is, is Emmy winner. What? He's got to figure out what's going on in Nashville. He's got to get to the bottom of everything in Nashville. Is that where he lives? It's in, yeah, it's in Nashville. I think this is local news in Nashville. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Her outfit is awful. Look at those Aladdin pants. What, those, That's those, terrible on her. What do you yeah. mean? The wide leg uh, pants are coming back in style. She Why? looks atrocious in that suit. Wide leg from <laughs> hip to foot? She wide literally looks like a rectangle. Down. It's like wide, a piece of wood. <laughs> yeah. Wide leg pants suits are big right now. What are you guys wearing? It looks like somebody's shooting air up into each of her pant <laughs> legs. It's so deeply <laughs> Yeah, she has really are fat legs. They're three inches away from being hammer pants. <laughs> I used to wear them. Hammer pants? Mm -hmm. You probably looked awesome. When I started comedy. My first headshot was in hammer pants. Were you wearing hammer no. pants or like Zubas? Were they skids? Is they, that online somewhere that we can see? Yeah, they were very, very low hanging. But whatever. Speaking Somebody of headshots, fine. did you see that Rich Voss one yesterday? Yes, that oh. jacket. Oh, not God. Good. It's not good? No. Very funny. Burt Kreischer. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah never Burt's forget. Funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were they like these skids? Remember skids? Yeah, no, they, they were, they were hanger, hammer pants. They're skid marks. I don't <laughs> think Hammer had a signature series pants. No, but they were like them, I'm saying. Yeah, right. these are like that. No. No? Okay. They hung lower. Oh. Let's get back to Phil Williams. Oh, now. Investigative reporter Phil Williams. <laughs> Phil Williams. Well, the mayor made a stunning admission this afternoon, just days after we began asking questions <laughs> about how she and her police bodyguard used your money. Asking. Every time I watch, money. there's a new word that he's having trouble with. Asking <laughs> questions. Like, it's like the first syllable is okay, but he's like, oh, fuck, there's a second syllable I'm going to have to push out of my head. It's like he had a debilitating childhood injury yeah. Yeah. and overcame it. Like, that's yeah. how he talks. Like, the reason I talk like this is because my throat was sunk shut when I was a baby. Yeah. Every, word is, every word is a battle. Yes. Yeah. Every word is a battle. It's like he's deaf. He, there's something yeah. he's probably deaf and he lip reads and he doesn't know how his words come out. Yeah. yeah. Let's watch him. And I'm um, very embarrassed and I'm deeply ashamed. And she's I'm not ashamed. Very sorry. Yeah, my pussy's no, wet. <laughs> I'm deeply ashamed. This sopping wet hole I have. <laughs> I'm deeply ashamed that I messed up your chair. <laughs> yeah, I'm deeply ashamed that my husband couldn't get the job done, so I'm fucking this masculine state trooper. Oh. We were first informed of this by the many wet chairs in the mayor's <laughs> office. Yes. <laughs> the furniture bill had gotten very high, and they used your money. Let's hear him talk. Well, I, I've, I've had a... She looks uh, like she's coming right now. <laughs> an extramarital affair. Um, I can't say it years. without it coming. So hot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I have heard a lot of people... With those words, Mayor <clears throat> Megan Berry admitted what she had long kept secret, an ongoing affair with this man, Wait, police sergeant. Wait, yeah, ongoing. Is her is name Marion Berry? Uh, uh, Mayor Barry. Uh, did you say Marion Berry? No, it's, uh, hang on. Mayor Berry. I thought it was Megan Berry. Megan Berry. Oh, oh, I just couldn't understand what you were saying. <laughs> but this, I mean, of all the people... 
This guy? He's not. He's all right. I mean, he's a state, <laughs> state trooper you bodyguard. He's, yeah. You think he's a handsome guy? I mean, Troy? for her, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Not, I mean, she's not anything great, but I would like to see what her husband looks like. Yeah, me too. Her husband's he's probably a little nerdy, yeah. fucking type well, of politico type guy. Little dumpy. Little dumpy. A little bit of a beta. Getting that mayor puss at home. Yeah. Yeah, and then here's the state beta. trooper who's like, fuck you and your policy. Right. Taking it in both holes. Yeah, the husband likes to talk about <laughs> the issues. Yeah. The trooper doesn't. The trooper just likes to get down to business. Yeah, the, the, tr the trooper goes fucking ass to mouth. Oh, oh my God. God. Well, there we She's go. She's dating Jesse Ventura. Yeah. That's the, oh that's my the, God. the ghost of Sam Roberts' future. She looks like... He looks like... Well, <laughs> yeah. Wow, hard to believe that she was uh, fucking the mayor, the, uh, the, the cop... Yeah, wow. yeah, that guy is. I mean, yeah, I mean, Kelsey, you can admit now that is an upgrade. Oh, 1,000%. And you know yeah. he's in better shape and he's more masculine. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, he is. That guy just became a 10. I want to hear how he, she, how they found out. Wing affair with this man, police sergeant Rob Forrest. <laughs> well, Forrest. Are paid by Nashville taxpayers to protect their city's highest elected official. <laughs> okay, look, hit pause. If you are he Phil Williams. to say it like that. Yeah, just use the used word economy. Economy of words, yeah. Like, the, yeah. use the smallest amount of words get possible to, to get your stuff out because all these syllables are only going to give you problems. The mirror. He really is an awful way it's, to speak. Yeah. The most highly trusted elected official. It's weird. He sounds like a robot who's been programmed, but he, like, can't quite get the pronunciation. Right, like, you can yeah. still tell it's a robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know that it's, like, an old radio announcer thing? Because like a lot of old radio guys talk like that. They always talk with the over yeah, the but can, There's some sort of handicap, it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, so something handicap. Yeah. yeah, because they're, they're at least getting their words out. Yeah. Like, he's having trouble with something. Yeah, he's words. struggling. It sounds like he wants to do that old-timey radio thing, because I know exactly what you're talking about, but also he can't speak. Because the fact that his mouth is so... His mouth is closed on the sides. Watch Urgh. him talk. The, ma the middle right. opens. It's, it's like he's got his jaws wired shut, except only on the sides. The, the middle's middle. open. Yeah. And yeah. trying to talk her. Maybe he has Bell's palsy. Could be Bell's palsy. Yeah, maybe. All over. <laughs> but, you know, the people of Nashville don't have to. And I also want to ask for their forgiveness. Oh. Barry says the affair began not long after <laughs> her fear. election in September 2015. That night, the police veteran was assigned to her protective detail. And Forrest has been a constant presence with the mayor during most of her public appearances, even as she admits the affair was ongoing. <laughs> okay, okay, here's fine. Ongoing. I mean, he gave up at the end of that. He get oh, going. <laughs> the affair like, was public. Like it's like it's like he, he can't breathe until his segment's <laughs> over. So he's just like trying to get all his words out, and we find oh going. I want to hear the number of takes that are scrapped. Like oh, I I want to yeah. hear the ones like Phil, no good. It must take forever. This I want to hear him dirty talk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm good to come in your mouth, <laughs> suck daddy's <laughs> dick. <laughs> Would you tell me right now, do you like that? <laughs> You've been very bad. You didn't clean your room. I am uh, penetrating God. you as I should based on the vows that we took. Uh, well, can you imagine if Phil Williams has a 10-inch dick with I soda can does. girth? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I he bet he was. does. Yes, I'm going to ruin you for the next man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wreck that pussy. I'm going to wreck your pussy. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he's a tall guy, and yeah. you have to imagine... That uh, uh, the universe that creates us human beings usually will make up for shortchanging yeah. somebody. Yeah. Right? She's screaming, you're, ru you're ruining my asshole. And he's like, I'm not even all the way hard yet. <laughs> 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 I'm going to fill you. This is, this is me soft, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Bitch. Phil isn't, isn't, my, Phil isn't bitch. my name. It's, it's my nickname. It's what I do. <laughs> Take it like a prostate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were Sergeant Forrest's boss. Why did you not say at some point, if I'm going to have this relationship, <laughs> he needs to be removed from my detail? No, that was a mistake. <laughs> and I should have. So that was a failure, failure. as the mayor. That was a failure. Why are you trying to teach her lessons, Phil? Yeah. Like, yeah. Why are you trying, like, like, get off her case. How about the fact that she's married and, and that's not the problem? Why wouldn't you have her removed from the detail? Because first of all, he's you want to fuck the guy. He's with you right there. Yeah, yeah. that's like 100% he's why he's always there. Yeah, because it was easier to have sex with him when he was there. Yeah, there's a reason for him to be there. No one says, why is that bodyguard? Like, if I was going to have an affair, I'd do it with Club Soda Kenny. <laughs> Ew. 
I'm not saying, I mean, I haven't seen him in a while, but you know. But yeah, easy access. Right. Yeah, I mean, and then he goes like, so that was a failure as the mayor then. And yeah, she's got to sit there and be like, well, you're a failure as a, as a fucking news reporter every single day. Look how you talk. That's what I would have said if I were the mayor. <laughs> Get the hell out of this office, Phil Williams. You're going to teach me a lesson. You're not, um, my, you're not my teacher. She doesn't want to take the guy's job. Guys, we're trying to work. Who, Phil Williams? No, the, oh, the, body, the, the bodyguard. Yeah, exactly. And when they're not fucking, he's protecting her. Exactly. Like, uh, by the way, how much physical harm has she encountered? <laughs> Nothing. She's fine. Ex so is the bodyguard not effective? Very effective. So the, the people of Nashville are paying for an effective bodyguard. Yeah, you want your wife to get killed or you want her to get a dick inside of her? Right. <laughs> Taxpayers are getting what they're paying for, and she's also getting a fuck body. And she's a better mayor. And she's a better mayor she's for She's happy. It. She's coming. Right. It's great. You wonder if the husband knew or if he didn't know. Like, did the husband know? Was it a cuck situation or was it she just cheating? Yeah. Let's see. She says she was having an affair and cheating. Well, she has to say that. She can't she say my husband knew. Well, yeah. she could, I guess, but. We have a, a unique relationship. Is the cop married, too? That I don't know. Maybe Phil Williams will get to the Phil bottom of it. Phil will get to the bottom. He wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to talk to the cop, but he said I sounded like an idiot. He, said, he sounds like a Muppet when he talks. Yeah, he, he sounds does. like a Jim Henson creation. <laughs> he does. He sounds like Sam the Eagle. Effective to say... You know, this is something that's happening, and I should, I should remedy this. I mean, what I should have done is not remedy him being a part of my security detail, whether or not I should have owned up and not had the affair. Right. During 2017, travel record show Forrest <laughs> traveled with the mayor to San Francisco, Salt Lake City, Denver, Washington several times, as well what as New York. Okay, okay, this okay. This is not okay. real. He how was is, getting, how did he get this job? She was getting fucking dick all over. This mayor yeah. was fucking this guy. He fucked her across the United States. Yeah. Like, and here's the problem. I'm still lost on his inability to say the state's names. San Francisco. Or, or city names. San Francisco. It sounds like the IRS call Jim just got. It really it does. It does, yes. Yes, you That's been, what it is. We're going to call local cops. Do you think they look at the script and they'd be like, oh boy, Phil's got a full 45-second <laughs> break to talk about. Oh, no, <laughs> Phil. This is going to get rough. Can we just say across the country? No, I want to name all the places. <laughs> this story happened two weeks ago, but it took me this long to record it. <laughs> Even though she's a Delta frequent flyer. <laughs> all right, Phil. Details not important. <laughs> Using Sky Miles. <laughs> Well, he's thorough. That's why he won an award. That is true. He's she thorough. She is a pre-check. So, she is a pre-check. <laughs> yeah, she was also using clear, and she did her fingerprints. <laughs> you don't need to say all those words, Phil. It's not necessary. Or Sometimes she packed four ounces of liquid had to dump it. We heard you. <laughs> September, he flew oh. with her to Athens, Greece. Athens, the next Greece. month, Greece. to Paris. All at taxpayer expense. Oh my God! He even them. put it inside of her backside in Greece <laughs> on your tax dollars. And he used the <laughs> phrase, "Hey, Miss Mayor, do you speak Greek?" Those <laughs> <laughs> legitimate business trips. Yeah, absolutely, every single one of them. Uh. If it hadn't been Sergeant Forrest, who would have been traveling with me as detail, there would have been other. No, clearly, because traveling. the mayor of Nashville really has to make sure her relations with. Greece and Paris are good. Yeah, why the fuck does the mayor of Nashville, do they all get one bodyguard, though, like when they travel? Like, is that part of being a mayor? Well, I'm sure, but like, they... Because you'll be kidnapped or murdered overseas? She said it's official yeah. business. She just said going to Athens was on official business because Nashville and Athens have to make sure they're allies. And though. Paris. Really? Yeah. Well, Paris. was it or no? I, I don't know what mayors what do. What the I don't, fuck would a mayor of Nashville have to do in Paris? Are there companies... To, I, I don't... Again, maybe she didn't pay it. Maybe she was flown there by a... Co I don't know. I don't, yeah. I'll tell you this. I don't know. The mayor of Scarsdale never goes to Paris. Because how does the husband sure. fucking, you know, say, okay, unless they were going with, unless he went with the couple. She threw with the Can we see the, street. I want to see the husband again. Don't before show this him. Is over. I want to see they talk to him. Ugh. Oh. He is kind of a hottie. I don't know where he go. I don't know where he went here. There Look at him. Guy. Poor guy. Oh, like Jesse God. Ventura. He does. Oh, that hair. Except why, chubbier than Jesse Why Ventura. that choice of the hair? If it's know. that ball, just, just take everything off. Yeah. People can't let go. What are you looking at me, Jim? Just look at the screen. <laughs> I'm just, you're my co-host. I'm just talking to you. <laughs> we are not even talking. Kelsey was the one talking. Oh. <laughs> sorry. I mean. <laughs> sorry. This is on call for. Yeah, a little, yeah. A, a little, okay, thank you. What's wrong looking at my co-host? Well, I wasn't talking to you. Oh. Okay. I mean, I don't even know what you were getting at, to tell you the truth. 
It's weird. Mixed signals in here. I don't disagree. Um, I like dicks. All right, let's play. Why do you keep using that? But take the button off this thing. No, I like it. You should have a limit to how many weekly put presses of that button. There you can is have. a limit. I haven't reached it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the limit's fifteen hundred. <laughs> I'm well within the range. I certainly am. <laughs> And with me, the, the the detail security policy is set by the police department, and they they say I have to travel with security. In fact, Forrest provided protection <laughs> for former mayors Bill Purcell and Carl Dean. He averaged thirty-four thousand dollars a year in overtime I for the last that. three years of Dean's term. But after Barry took office, Forrest overtime paid twenty-five thousand more, to just below sixty thousand yeah. dollars in fiscal year 2015-16. The next year, that increased to more than okay. seventy-five thousand dollars. They claimed the overtime was for considered fuck time. <laughs> wow. So that's where the problem is because this guy's fucking jacking them for overtime because yeah. he's fucking them so he's charging for overtime. Matt, what a he's fucking a alpha swinging dick. <laughs> this guy's my idol. He's a bodyguard gigolo. I'll fuck the mayor and you're paying me time and a half. Right. Damn. Yeah, you want your holes filled because that fucking lump can't do it? Time and a half, bitch. Yeah, this, <laughs> here's the thing. Everybody knows this dick ain't free. Yeah. You know? That's an expression I have for myself, too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Is it, it sure it does, but not for free. your own dick. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> right, right. That's right. When I'm, I'm going, no, it, it? and it's more of like an, uh, an exclamation. This dick ain't free? Yeah, when yeah. you have one placed in between your Yeah, I got it. Cheek yeah. and gum. No, it was... Okay. <laughs> like, it was a, a, like a pinch of skull. Right. Sometimes pinch things... Pinch of skull. <laughs> <laughs> Sam likes to hold a penis between his cheek and gum. <laughs> well, a man would hold tobacco. You know? Sometimes <laughs> things go without saying. You don't have to... I like to expand. Every time... Can, <laughs> Compare oral sex to dip. Why not? It's a perfect comparison. No, I mean, I... You ever hold a dick in your mouth? Like, you don't suck it. No. You just hold it there? No, of course not. And yeah. you're annoyed after a while because yeah. you got to smell his pubes? Yeah. Guys mm -hmm. like to feel the ridges of your molars against their no. shaft. No, I've, I've never held a dick in my mouth. No? You know, <laughs> co-hosts don't have the same dating habits. I've never... I don't, I don't either. What? 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 Go on now. <laughs> and pay to $157,000 for fiscal year 2016-17. Some people will look at that and say that taxpayers are paying for this relationship. Mm. Oof. What would you that's say a, to them? Asking well, a tough question. What this reflects is, again, the policy that the police have about making sure that when I'm working that I have detail. And, uh, and I don't think it's a secret that I do work a lot. And I do have a pretty <laughs> aggressive schedule. a lot schedule. of blowjobs. Yeah. Was he getting paid by taxpayer at any point when you all were having your personal time? Uh, no. what, Phil, wait what a, is she going to say? Way to beat yeah. around the bush for when, when you all were having your personal Doesn't he time? say we're getting paid by taxpayer? Go back. He uses a singular like it's one guy footing the bill. But she has to say no. What is she going to go? Yeah, he was fucking I me know. on the taxpayer oh. dime. Yeah, I guess that is why people are mad. Yeah, we did pay him for the, for the fuck time. Yeah, yes. we did, yeah. We did yeah. do that. Yes. Scene 17. Some people will look at that Some and people. say that taxpayers are paying for this relationship. Watch. What would you say to them? I, mean, what I think what this reflects is, again, the policy that the police have about making sure that when I'm working that I have detail. And, uh, and I don't think it's a secret that I do work a lot and I do have a pretty aggressive schedule. Was he getting paid by taxpayer at any point? <laughs> when he, was, <laughs> he wanted to say taxpayer tax money or taxpayer dollars. Dollar, yeah. and, he, and he lost confidence in his ability to say the word dollars. Yeah. That's an extra two syllables I do not have in me. <laughs> so she only gets while she's working. Like, you know, Bill de Blasio, right. mayor of New York, San Francisco, Chicago, they probably have 24 He's the mayor probably. of all those? Yeah, he, it's a really weird thing. Um, he flies a lot. Wow. But the mayors of these different majors, they probably have 24-hour police protection. Bill de Blasio sure. has 24-hour police protection. Yeah. yeah. She probably has it when she's working. Right. So going to Paris, but you what have about to bring security detail, and that's probably how you have excuses to have this guy overnight because yeah. you're overseas. So what's he going to do? He has to get paid for travel time. I hope Phil Williams points out that she's supposed to have security when she's working, not when she's putting in that work. Let's see. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, Big maybe. Old yeah. It's no time. Uh, no. How can taxpayers know that all of that overtime was completely legitimate? Uh, I think that the, the records will show if you look at my schedule. Could I smell your bodyguard's overtime. fingers? <laughs> or fist. <laughs> <laughs> Could I smell your bodyguard's <laughs> <laughs> Phil, you know what that implies? Of course I do. Yes. I hear you're into feasting. <laughs>
She likes fisting. Yeah, you like it to stretch to the point of giving birth. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, does your rectum. <laughs> I'm going to see that my schedule reflects that I was out there working. The police sergeant was also there the day oh, that Barry and oh her boy. husband Bruce joined Nashville in mourning the death of her oh, son look at Max. Him walking but, right there. Oh, and her kids oh, her dead. Son died. Wow. At Max least he didn't have to live she, through this. Wow. Like I was there. What's what happened? He says helps her keep this moment in perspective. You know the political world. Yeah. Um, there may be some people who say she cannot govern. Yeah, she must resign. What do you say to them? No. Uh, this is a bad day. I'm going to have a lot more bad days coming up. I've already had my worst day. And, and I know the difference between a mistake and a tragedy. And this is a mistake. Her son died. How did he I die? Okay, listen. To... First of all, she is trying to be like, look, I know I might have fucked my bodyguard and maybe the state was paying him, but my son's dead. So yeah, isn't that so more sad? Poor, yeah, the, like, that has nothing dick, yeah. to do with this, with this conversation. The poor husband. He loses his son and his wife. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. He died in July Over. 29th. In, wow, he just fucking died. Overdose. Oh, uh, man. Maybe he maybe found out his wife was... I mother. mean, his mother was having sex with her bodyguard. Yeah, but the guy was there. That's the point Phil Williams was making. That the bodyguard was there yeah. at the waist. So the fucking father, it's like, we had buried our son and some guy you fucking is with us. Uh, Although if he's a bodyguard, he would have to be there, right? He was. That's right. what Phil was just saying, yeah. So... In this administration over the last two years, that we've done a lot of really good things, and that's going to continue to be my focus. As for her future with her husband, well, I'm not concentrating on that D. <laughs> says that's for them to figure out. Oh my oh, God! Figure is a tough that's one for, for him. Them to figure out. Right. Yeah, go back just to that. Use are tough, I think. Use are a tricky, tricky. Yeah, letter. The, the, the G, G into the U is yeah. tough. Yeah, it's a tough, but it is tough. As far as, yeah, that'd be tough for him. <laughs> yeah. TV good. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, uh, I mean, as far as letters go, that is a tough U is, one. U is tough. That's a tough, tough transition. You is yeah. tough. Really good things. And that's going to continue to be my focus. As for her future with her husband, Barry says that's for them to figure out. Whoa. Bruce and I have a lot to work through, and we're working through it. Uh, I'm really blessed that I have a husband who is supportive of me. Yeah, you bet. We've been through a lot together, and this is something that personally we're going to work through. What a guy. Yeah. Oh, Sergeant Forrest, I a love the outro. Veteran ...who suddenly retired effective yesterday. Wow. He's also married and an attorney for his... Phil Williams did get to the bottom of it. The bodyguard is married. He retired. ...now sent a letter to the police department demanding that the, his police-issued mobile phone be preserved as possible evidence. Meanwhile, this is all a very quickly developing story. We're going to have more of our interview later in this newscast. And Mayor Barry also plans to hold a news conference later this evening. And we're in the process of posting some of the financial documents that documents. we've uncovered. All of that and more coming up tonight on NewsChannel5.com. So what else what happened now? So many words. So the kid died. She's fucking this guy. The right. guy why did the cop have to retire immediately? In the like, well, the cop is at the fucking. Yeah. Why is he? Why should he have to lose his career? Because he might have been billing the state uh, for oh, his fuckery. Oh, maybe improperly. Yeah. yeah. But again, he's the mayor's bringing him. Yeah. Yeah, she is bringing him to climax. I guarantee you, she has to step down. I don't know. This, this is not because it's going to be the taxpayer money. It, if they, it, it's if not going to be yeah, the morals yeah. of the affair. It's going to be the taxpayer money that she. This guy built 157 G's in two years, and meanwhile, well, three years before that, it was 30 something, 30 something, 30 something. Come on now. If, if you're in Nashville, <laughs> be fiscally responsible. That's right. If you're in Nashville, you're not going to get away with bullshit. Phil Williams is there. You right. know what I mean? Like I wouldn't. If Phil Williams was a local reporter here in New York, I would mind my p's and q's because sure. he's going to get to the bottom of it. I really want to know what happens with this fucking story. We'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye. Is this eye all on. happening this week now, like in real time, or is this like a month ago? No, 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 no. no. This is, uh, I, I think, January. Oh, so like a week ago. I want to make a Phil Williams uh, sex talk doll where you like pull the string <laughs> yeah. and he says all the things. Can somebody make that from? Sure. I, I'm sure the listeners here. Can yeah. Do that? So yeah. Open we'll up your a... legs, you pig. <laughs> <laughs> we should have a Phil Williams impression contest.
Yeah, the, when, the, when the winner gets a bullet in the mouth. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Make it stop forever. That's really bad, isn't it? The Phil Williams thing. It amazes me that yeah. that's the job he chose to do. But he do. has a puppet he's mouth. A, he's an he's a Emmy winner for it. Look at, his puppet, uh, look at his puppet mouth on the side. So that's why he's got the Joker. Yeah. Like he looks like he's been cut or something. He has a weird sinus thing. That's why he can't say the end. Her husband. husband. Yes. <laughs> Maybe it's a palate like he, thing. There might be a palate thing, or it sounds like when you can't really talk because you're through the doing Craig Shankle now. <laughs> this has been the best of Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Hear the show live Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern. Or listen anytime on your phone with the SiriusXM app.